Hello, hello. Why on earth are you so quiet on my end? Hang on. And I fixed it. Ah, there we go. So it was you all it, along. It can be me. It can be you. It can be anyone and everyone. Sometimes. Okay, the music in my brain anyone. has turned down now. <laughs> I'm eating dessert. Yummy. Ooh, what's for dessert? Hello, Mason. Hi, Mason. Strawberries with sweetened condensed milk. Oh, yum. Mm -hmm. That sounds amazing. Jealous. <laughs> I got extra sweetened condensed milk because uh, my mom had to use it to make dinner for us on Sunday. Mm -hmm. and But obviously not a whole can. And she knows that I like it in my tea. And obviously I'll do other things with it too. So she was like, you want the rest of it? And I was like, yeah. That sounds absolutely delicious. Oh, yeah. Thank it's you, Mama tea. Ori. Yeah. Mori. Mori. Not to confuse with Omori. Mm. Yes, no. Don't don't confuse Mama Ori with uh, the sad RPG. The sad game. <laughs> the sad game. Well, that see, that's too many games. <laughs> I I actually just started playing uh, Chicory, a colorful tale. Very cute game. Pretty fun. It's all about uh, being an artist. Ah. And I was told it was like, oh, cute coloring game with cute animals named after food. Uh oh. All of a sudden. I'm being confronted with imposter syndrome and depression and burnout and oh. a whole bunch of other things artists experience. So Ori, I was going to recommend this game to you, but I think it might be a little too relatable. Because <laughs> the whole premise is that there's a wielder of the paintbrush that brings color to the world. And one day they just, they lose their motivation and decide they're not worthy anymore. And mm. the depression they fall into sucks the color Oof. out of the entire town. Oof. I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ow, my heart. <laughs> I will say I am thankful that as an artist, uh, I've been pretty chill <laughs> overall <laughs> uh, with artist things. <laughs> so, uh. I will say this, the game is very creative. There's one dungeon that I'm in, because yes, this game has dungeons. Um, you use the paintbrush in the world around you, so you can like color the empty trees, um, make plants explode to help launch mm. you up to higher platforms, like that kind of deal. Mm -hmm. And in one of the dungeons, you use the paintbrush to color the floor and it reveals hidden messages for how to solve the dungeon. It's pretty Ooh, cool, actually. It does sound like very cool mechanics. It's like Legend of Zelda meets art. <laughs> <laughs> link between worlds, but full full painting mode. Link link, link between worlds, but paintbrush mechanics. Yeah, instead of oh, picture link mechanics. Link between worlds meets Okami. There we go. Ah. You know, I never played that game. It is fun. Yeah. It is a good game. It is so beautiful. I and the soundtrack heard. is mm, top tier. Oops. Okami definitely has one of the best video game soundtracks, in my opinion. Hello, like, Winnie. So good. Hi, Winnie. <laughs> it was just good too to perfect, Mason. You know, <laughs> great minds think alike. Too perfect indeed. That's the problem. I did a... I, I thought about Cold Front today, Winnie. So we had a... Uh, I'll send it to myself so I can show it on stream. We had snow today. Well, mostly yes. last night and today. It's pretty melty right now. And thus the main issue is it's going to freeze overnight, maybe. And yeah. uh, that's what I'm least happy about. However, good news is my first job in the morning tomorrow is six minutes from my house. So Ooh, I'm pretty chill. Nice. That, but, that should be okay. Yeah. But, um, I went outside today because it was like, oh, you know, I probably should, like, remove the partially melted snow that is still on my car from mm -hmm. the car so that if it does freeze, like, it's not a, it's not a concern. Oh, crap. Uh, tomorrow morning. And so I went outside and I did that and that was all good. But I uh, I then also realized that it was good. It made good packing snow. 
<gasps> this really wet snow. Ooh. So uh, I then took more time and got very sweaty because, you know, it was not really that cold, but when you wear <laughs> snow stuff. And I made... Uh, not that one. This one. A snowman? Yeah, a little snow... And a snow dog. Oh, it's so cute! A snowman and a snow pupper. The and snow I thought pup. about a uh, cold front because I thought about, like, I hope no one kicks it over. <laughs> <laughs> when he just uh, going out into the cold. Oh, we've been in a car crash. I'm gonna make a snowman now. I didn't know they were in a car crash. Okay. <laughs> in his defense, they that just suddenly dog got cold. Is so frigging cute. I love that you gave it a muzzle and everything. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm very proud. I'm very proud. Uh, Dylan adorable. and Doug kind of saw it when they got home, but sadly, it was already kind of melted. So this oh, is. Oh no. I'm glad to have this picture. And I made sure that I made the stick that curved down, like, touching the dog. So it was, like, patting it's, the dog. It's a self-portrait of Ori and her pup. That's what my mom said. I texted my mom. My mom was, like, <laughs> texting me all day about, like, what stuff she did with her day, like, food-wise and stuff. So I texted Ooh, her this, and she was nice. like, oh, it's you and me. And I was like, yeah. Such a cute. I don't know why. Snow days are just, like, the perfect day where it's, like, in the morning. You're like, I'm gonna have an actual real meal today. Like no quick cereal, no toast, no no no. I'm gonna make myself some Yeah, I had sausage and, eggs and, and tea. a hash brown patty. Ooh, that sounds delicious. It was very good. Yeah, snow days are awesome. <laughs> snow days are pretty great. And then I got to get some work done, which was also very nice. I got work done too. But I didn't get as much work as I kind of wanted to get done. But, you know, waking up like three hours sure later. About that? I feel like you got a ton done. Uh, eh. <laughs> oh, that's only two illustrations. I did three the day before and then I, I didn't do any of the actual comic stuff, which now we're on an actual comic tear. Even though I had other brain stuff, I was like, no, 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 we got to actually do the comic. Such is life. Such is life indeed. I don't even I know how this perspective is working. As well. Perspective is a fickle thing, my friend. Yeah. This is more just me trying to exactly figure out how that's working. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, it's like I have these, like, sketches here, but I'm not sure. Bye, Winnie. I'll see you, Winnie. I'm not exactly sure what mm. they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. Well, I know I'm not the one who sketched them, so you don't have <laughs> it's that. It's all your fault, Mars. It's <laughs> all you. Why did you make them so weird? I did Oh, it. shit. What? That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, what'd you do, Ori? I copied the wrong thing. Oh, yeah, that would do it all right. Okay. Ah, if we do. Yeah, no, we're, we're we're getting the boat. I don't know what this these sketch lines mean. <laughs> we're getting the boat. Boat. It's okay. You'll figure it out. I believe in you. Uh, I think that's the back. So, here we go. 3D models for the win. The is it the back? I think so. That'd be the question. Oops. I'm pretty that's certain. That's not what I wanted to do. Pretty certain. Are you streaming, Mars? I am, yes. All right. Let me, let me bring that up for everybody to see Mars dealing with her own backgrounds. Oh, well, <laughs> I'll work on that in a minute. Let me finish this hoax in place. Oh, then never mind. <laughs> it's role reversal night, Mars. I know it is, but I thought I'd get some other stuff done, too. Because this is part of the Ferex hangout. It needs to be finished. With the deuce a Mars stream? Don't you mean what the juice, Jawline Jim? Yes. Excuse you. Always wet the juice. Come on. Yeah, look. 
You've seen, you know. Why is this not the right size? Come, Come on. on, you. Okay. What is even happening? Oh, crap. Come on. Oh, wait. Is that a finger okay. or a ruffle? That looks right. <laughs> no, that's definitely a ruffle. That's attached to the shirt. Okay. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> okay. There is Mars's stream. Yes. You guys yes. can see in being colored. Mars actually does some 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 little art bits for the comic, and then also yeah. she's been forced into being even more of an artist by drawing a mini comic written by me, because yes. we had a role reversal to celebrate the stream, which we will get to shortly. I just want to finish this panel. <laughs> also, uh, in other news, I guess. Um, why are these? These are lining up how I want? No, they're not. I, I have fixed Admittedly, it. Admittedly, I can wait for more people to join us. Okay. Okay, there it is. I fixed it. We did it. Okay. Did I? It doesn't look right. I don't know, Lori. I think did we're you? just... Uh, no, I don't think I did. Unless... Eh... I don't even know what's happening. We're gonna make it bigger. Okay, now I see where we're lining it up. Okay. Yeah, are over here. Okay, what was I saying before? We have a lot of cool uh, Kofi uploads this month. Extra ones, too. Yes! Oh, very cool ones. You guys are gonna love this. Very neat. Very neat stuff. A bunch we got actually some old versions of Outcast. Yes. Uh, yeah, lots of extras this month, basically. Lots of extras. We have. Oh, that that's just the benefit of having a holiday. Yes. <laughs> but I've also spread those like the official holiday ones out. It's more like I made a set and then I had one image where it was everybody together, and I, I just wanted to post that. But you know, <laughs> that's an extra. But um. I also did, there's like a little comic that was only posted on the Discord before is going to go up there. There's the old first ep never before seen episode of Outcast that got scrapped yes. and replaced with the prologue. Oh, it's so exciting, you guys. There's the two versions of the first of what is now entry one and entry two, page one, what they looked like originally before I remastered them. Yes. And... Really cool Valentine's Day theme set that comes out next Thursday, though. Not this Thursday, really though. Really cool This week Valentine's is all uh, Valentine's Day stuff. That's okay, Pastry Puff. Thanks for the high and buy. Oh, uh, no worries, Pastry Puff. Always a pleasure. I'm actually going to stop streaming you for a second, Mars, so I can do a Discord thing. <laughs> no problem. Because I realize I have to set up the next uh, thing to post. Announcement? Yeah, that's the word I okay. want. <laughs> Announcement. I thought that was the word you wanted, but I wasn't sure. Indeed. I don't even know what I called them anymore. There's so many logistics things. We have a name for everything. Well, it's more like I like to be consistent. Mm. It's part of building a brand, you know, consistency. Exactly. Then you can promise quality. It's a whole thing. Yeah. Consistency makes people, like, rely on you. Is this one Sinnet or Aster? I think this one's Sinnet. Yeah, that's usually what I do. Orange! Orange. Who's your boy? Oh, Valentine's Day. Woo! Nice. Success. Hashtag. Like. Beautiful. Yes, we have a, a beautiful bot. Uh, that is that is paid for by our Kofi. Uh, yes. That allows us to 
post those announcements without me actually having to be there and doing it, which has honestly been a godsend because now with a job, I, it'd, be, it'd be real rough <laughs> the, <laughs> to do this The bots way. work for us. The bots work for us. Mahahaha. <laughs> Ooh, a haiku. Uh, Ooh. What was the, were you just, was the assignment just to write like any haiku or you chose to write a haiku based on like a prompt or something? Anything specific? Yeah. I'm so intrigued. Haikus are pretty fun. Where is my thing? I need holiday, Valentine's Day. I moved all the other ones to another folder, so that's good. Boop. Success. No, you're just lazy. <laughs> you wrote a haiku because you're lazy. That that sounds like the opposite of lazy, but if that's what you want to believe. Oh no no I mean, no! I mean, I I'm in agreement, Mason. Like like yeah, haikus are, are are pretty like chill. You know, they're chillax compared to other things. Other forms of writing, like writing a story, Mars, like, ugh, that's a lot more than writing a, writing a haiku. Oh, that is very true. Haikus definitely don't require that. <laughs> they still require thought, but, you know, just there's physically less words. <laughs> you know? Speaking of uh, stories, though, Mars was on a little AU kick, apparently, the other day. Yeah, you know, I just stuff. started thinking last night and realizing, huh, this could be a really cute scene. Uh, definitely not canon, but, you know, <laughs> could be fun. I probably had way too much fun with it. <laughs> but you Wait, know, did you actually write like something entirely? No, that oh. that little blurb I sent you was like the closest oh, okay, I got. Okay, okay. Uh, I did not have that kind of time today. I okay, had some other that, that's more pressing matters. I was like, wait, but... what, where is it then, Mars? You know, like, <laughs> now Ori, I would have sent it to you first. Hey, Jeez. I don't know. Both of us were having way too much fun apparently recently. Oh yeah. Well, to be fair, at least in my case, it has been a hot minute doing some AU writing. I think the last AU thing I wrote was Crate AU. And that went up a while ago. I feel. Uh, for the Kofi specifically, yes. But you also did like, uh, I think I think Band AU writing came after Crate AU. Did it? I thought Crate AU came after Band AU. I am uncertain. Fallout AU? Fallout like the game? <laughs> <laughs> no, no Fallout. That would be wild. I have no I have very little knowledge about Fallout. It would be I tough. know as much of what my friends have told me. I know about Vault Boy. Or I want. That's about it. <laughs> I uh Yeah, that's the extent of my knowledge too. <laughs> yeah. My goodness. Give me titles. Thank you. No titles for you. All the titles for me. Never. I'm almost done setting them all up. There we go, guys. We just... We close our lines like so. <laughs> Ori doesn't spots. close lines. Yes. <laughs> Ori does not close lines. And... It's okay. We still love her. <laughs> you better. <laughs> Link. Okay. It would be kind of funny. One panel done. Oh, so not necessarily the game specifically, just navigating a uh, uh, an a uh, post-apocalyptic wasteland. This gives me like, why don't I just draw them as be Scooby? <laughs> Yes! 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 <laughs> do it! Do it! Do oh it! Oh my god. Dash 16? Right? Dude, I. Okay, guys, I am reading book two finally! Oh my god, it's okay! 
It's real. She sent me like it's snippets. So gay. She it's sent me like beautiful. little snippets. Literally, the very first page of the book starts out with Bisco and Milo going to Bisco's village, and everyone in the village is like, "Hey, Bisco, it's Jobby's boy. Look at that. You have a wife now." <laughs> Uh, and then, and then Bisco Everyone's was literally the like, chips you them. he's not my wife, he's my partner. He's my partner. And, and, and I responded to Mars, I was like, I was like, yes, because they're not married yet, and he's gay, okay, guys? Like, <laughs> it, it got even better. Um, okay, I, I will say, this is a spoiler warning for anyone in chat. Because there is an upcoming season that will hopefully be out soon. Or if you want to read the second light novel, go for it. But I will be saying a spoiler just because I want Ori to know. Um, so following the incidents in the first season of the anime, um, they are both wanted men. Like, they're, they're the posters at the end of season one saying they're wanted. There's a bounty out on them. And, of course, there are copycat criminals who like take their names and are like oh yeah i'm the mighty beast go for like clout and stuff um they come across two imposters uh portraying bisco and milo one of them is like this motorcycle gang like dude who instead of having a crab uses a freaking tank because they heard octagawa the crab was described as a tank so they're like oh he must drive a tank i'll get myself one <laughs> but then the person being Milo, the Milo doppelganger, is actually a girl. That's so funny. And when Milo sees her, he's just like, you should have done your research. You would have known if you studied better that my bruise is, or not my bruise, my birthmark is on the left side, not the right. Want me to fix that for you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, beautiful follow-up line, you but all so I'm thinking about savage. All I'm thinking about is the freaking like Ember Island players <laughs> from <Yes>! Avatar. <laughs> oh know, my you, god, it's scars actually on the like wrong that. line. Your scars on the wrong side. <laughs> that that is actually uh, how it reads. Like yeah, that is I literally know. how that scene reads. Beautiful. He was just like, yeah, no, you put it on the wrong side, but I can fix that for you, clenches fist. <laughs> beautiful. Milo, Milo is, That's amazing. is a beautiful vibe of where, like, they draw Milo, him, and at the beginning, Milo is amazing he's because like, he soft looks so boy. soft, yeah. and he acts so soft, but damn, he's got a wild side. But, but at the end, you know, if you mess, you mess, he's, you know, fuck around just, and find out. He is just as feral as Bisco. Yeah, it's pretty. He it's just pretty hides good. it better. Ooh. It's so good. He can keep it on the inside when needed. Exactly. Okay. That's Let's our boy. Actually managed to make this boat this time. Okay, the problem Ori has is where I'm like sitting here like, yeah, I would love to sketch, you know, Milano and Hotsen as you know said boys but also then it's like uh, or he's incapable 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 whatever the fuck incapable <laughs> of incapable. like doing something chilly does that make sense doing something chilly chilly you, you know like like oh, uh, like like leisurely like, yeah you know, you saw oh, okay. what I okay. All of those I sent Mars. So so. There are uh, there's like the Valentine's Day set which I did, uh, which Poor you guys are, are seeing. Guys. Now. Wait, hold on, no, no, no. This is the one that you guys are all seeing right now. Okay, that's being posted right now. The rose set. Okay, <laughs> and then when I which are top tier. In when I thought of that set, I also thought of a Kofi set as well, and they were meant to be like pretty chill like kind of sketchy kind of quick kind of whatever you know yeah they they're not because i they also take weren't. that time to like style experiment so like i was just like ooh i've been seeing videos about like how to shade your drawings like a certain way differently than how i do it and i was like okay i want to try that 
And I did. And I think they came out really well, and I'm very happy with them. But it means that, like, it was not a chill time. <laughs> it was not. Although you went through them very quickly. Like, she I was sending did. one after the other. I will it say, was I was impressed with my speed uh, overall, in general. The speed was impressive, yeah. I will say. Pretty neat. Pretty good. Okay, lines. Thank you. But yeah, no, guys, re read the second book of these go. <laughs> or watch the season when I'm it comes out. I'm ready for the season. I need it. I need it, I so, need bad. it so bad. I have a, uh, a break coming up next week because uh, I work in the schools now. And we have winter break coming up. So I'm trying to decide what anime do I want to binge over the break. I think I'm going to bri bringe. I'm going to binge. Yeah, bringe. Bringe it, I'm Mars. Awake. Bringe Bringing. it. Yes. Let's bringe. No, I'm going to binge uh, Free Rin. Because mm. everyone's been saying how good that one is. Uh, it even surpassed Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood as <gasps> top anime. Legasp. So I need to check this out. Legusp. <laughs> Also, a fantasy that isn't an isekai? Yes, please. Ooh, that's always good stuff. If you want that, watch Dungeon Meshi. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dun Dungeon Meshi <laughs> has that <laughs> in spades. My boy. <laughs> I love my boy so much. Oh, my God. He's so good. I'm literally, like, all of the- get everything. The second Mar showed me another, like, merch- piece of merchandise that's coming out for him. I'm just like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. give me all of the <laughs> Leo's merch. My boy. There we go. Look at our pretty backgrounds. Yes, look at- look at Mars. X Doing marks all the, the hard spot work. for those stars. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, God, it. Fucking hell. <laughs> what the fuck did I do with the eyes? I wasn't gonna say nothing. I'm- that? you don't have to, I'm saying all of it. Uh, what the fuck did I do to the boy? <laughs> I, I honestly feel like I, I like what's expression in that one more. <laughs> Zoinks! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I can hear wow. it. Ah! <laughs> who, who said I can't draw? I didn't <laughs> say that. I have a basic understanding of anatomy. Look at these stick figures. Yes. And his short arms. <laughs> <laughs> that are missing their sleeves. Oops. I wasn't even talking about Sinnoh. Oh. <laughs> you don't even have hands. <laughs> oh, I just noticed you didn't give Houghton any gloves because his hands don't reach. I can't do anything, yeah. <laughs> there were no space for gloves. He Houghton just slaps everybody with his long dangly sleeve. <laughs> you know that, like, um... Uh... Uh, in that scene in Horton Here's a Who. Which one? Oh, uh, where There's with so the many. where where the mayor of Whoville gets like lidocaine in his arm when he's at oh, the dentist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he's like just running around with a flappy arm and he keeps like slapping people <laughs> and you know beautiful. <laughs> It does have those vibes, doesn't it? it? Yeah, well, I mean, it's when you're saying, like, he's just going around slapping people. Like, well, yeah, it does have those vibes. He's slapping people with his flappy sleeves. Clap, flap. Slap, slap. Fl clap, clap, clap. Slap, slap, slap. Clap, clap, clap. Slap, slap, slap. Slap, slap, slap. slap, slap, slap. Bulby. Do, do, do. But yes, so that is what my anime binge will consist of. A rewatch of Saibiku Ibisco for Valentine's Day, and then Free Ren. Hopefully I catch up to where the anime currently is. 
Although I will say this, guys, I have been watching Mr. Villain's Day Off with a friend. Oh, it's so hilarious. It's so good, but it's also so relatable. <laughs> Like, I have Ori, to get on that one. Watch I gotta get one. on that one. You do. I want you to watch. I'm it sitting so over bad. here in, in Cherry Magic. I'm just like, please <laughs> give me. Oh, one. Cher Cherry Magic is destroying me. That uh, cliffhanger. Oh, I know. Week. God damn it. <laughs> I had off today, right? And I was just like, please, please, no, it's not Thursday. <laughs> it's not Thursday. Uh, it's only Tuesday. So terrible. They, it's an illegal cliffhanger, you guys. Illegal. It was such an illegal cliffhanger. Like, and we're only like halfway good. through. Like, next episode is like halfway. Well, here's the thing, Ori. The anime is rated mature. So, stuff could happen later on. It is a BL. Mm. Some BLs do go that direction. Mm. I will say this I appreciate that being together is not the end game and that we may get a little more and I get would to be see them very happy couple. with that that would be fun I would love that especially if he like keeps his power and also we have very little on the side couple too you know we haven't really seen oh yeah we, we really need more about the side couple yeah okay do we think that I can reach my uh truffles well still plugged in this uh this is an accurate depiction of the big dipper you guys <laughs> promise <laughs> i cannot i have to i have to remove my headphones for a second i'll be right back oh no bye ori where'd she go vanished um, da, 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 da. okay so aster is very tall you likely would not see the I sand returned. in the background so it would only be some night sky and maybe some tree trunks so we'll put that in our lovely Panel six. You know what's really funny? I uh, just like barely remember actually coloring these at this point. Like like what they looked like when I was coloring them. Like I it just wasn't kinda that went. long ago. I just kinda went and and you know, and it's like I'm looking at this aster like I like a guy obviously colored it, but I don't remember him making that face. <laughs> it was so traumatizing you purged it from your memory. <laughs> You know, like, what is this abomination Mars gave me? Uh, I tried, guys. I tried. I tried harder than, honestly, I thought I was going to try. <laughs> like, I was going to treat this like a joke and do stick figures the entire time. But then I was like, no, actually, I want to try. I don't know why, but I want to actually try to make an attempt to do good and she has i don't she know why indeed. i decided that no, that wasn't was a weird. bad choice mason's getting into my hero academia Ooh, Ooh. i i was into it i still follow people who do like art of like some of the characters the art is good regularly i haven't I gotta watched be honest, in a long time i never got past the first seat well no i finished the first season i never got further than that I don't know. It just, it did not grab I think me. I got through the first three seasons. I feel like You that definitely about right. made it further than I did. I think that's about right. Three seasons. And then I had read some of the manga, like, after that. Ahead. And uh, then I just sort of fell off watching it. You know, it, it's one of those things where, like, certain shows, like, if they, if I'm not specifically watching them with someone, and mm -hmm. I'm, like, not so into it where it's like, I need the next episode. I need to watch it now. You know, I, I kind of like fall out of it pretty easily. And that's how Ori does. But Mason is reading a spin off novel. Ooh, I didn't realize they have that. And wrapped Ooh. it in black construction paper because their bears are reading it in public. That's so funny, Mason. Is it, is it like, is it, it's, it's a mature, rated is it mature spicy? novel? Um, I know, okay, I don't. Sometimes the algorithm works in very weird ways and thus makes allows like okay, I'm gonna have to word this in a in a in a in a way. It like recommends content in like my shorts feed and then I do like it because it's like very interesting. And what I mean by that is there's apparently a like a romance novelist, right? Like an adult romance novelist who's on like YouTube shorts and everything. And she has written a ton of books and they're all straight and while i don't like 
care for that and I have no plans on like buying her books or anything like that because that is not my vibe. Oh, you're embarrassed because of the My Hero Academia reputation? Oh no, <laughs> that's so sad, Mason. I'm sorry you feel that way. Show off your manga with pride. <laughs> if not you, then who? <laughs> honestly, honestly, I feel like less people would look at, you know, I mean, I don't think like the black construction paper is particularly drawing attention either, but I just feel like <laughs> that's one of those things where, especially a spin-off novel, unless it isn't like saying it like really big on the front, I feel like I wouldn't even like notice. But I feel like it's also one of those things where it's like black construction paper is like, you got even more to hide. <laughs> well, now it definitely feels like, like a spicy book, attention. you know, now it feels like, but the point I was trying to get at is that, so what she did is she made like Obviously, a lot of, like, the romance novels have, like, covers where you can, like, tell what they are, right? And, like, names where you can tell, like, okay, this is, like, a spicy book that this person is reading, right? And, um, so what she did, because people were, like, embarrassed about reading them in public, you know, as one would be. That's, like, you, you know, you're, you're whisked away into a fantasy world of whatever you want, you know? Oh, yeah. So... They were like embarrassed. So she came out with a discrete series where it's basically, and this is why I like found it interesting was solely because of this whole thing. And it just like the artist brain is like, ooh, nice. Where they're like all color coded based on darkness and like the like themes. That reminded you of your trading card system, didn't it? A little bit, but it was more, they're like just very, very pretty on a shelf. You know, they're all pretty different mm -hmm. colors and everything. And then they only have like the couple's names on the front. So it's like nobody can really like tell what you're reading, right? But it was just interesting to me because it's like, wow, those do look really pretty on a bookshelf, man. Because they're like rainbow, it's not rainbow colors, they're like pale pinks and like yellows and Ooh, mints and like maroons and then well it's like so it's like darkness and okay. theme right so it's like you know i'm trying to remember exactly what she says i actually haven't seen one of her videos in a little bit but it's like small town you know romance guy next door sort of thing but then there's also like mafia with some like really like dark kinks going on you know and so it's like that's how the rating <laughs> works as well there's a bunch of so like the maroon colors is like knife play and stuff and i'm like wow okay oh wow oh uh no i'm good Woo. <laughs> at least you know what you want but it yeah it was just i literally only watched it because i was like wow these are really pretty you know or like or like okay i will say there's also Can some you send that to me please yeah i'll have to find it but there's I'm also so some intrigued. where she does like 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 a package packaging you know where you can like order like a kind of like a mystery box from her and like Ooh. she'll give you some books and like some merch and stuff and so some of the merch she has is she had like artists you know who draw like characters i'm assuming from the book you know it's not like she would have zipped but they have that like like heat reveal so mm -hmm. it like if you like put your thumb on it or your like hand on it like they they're naked now. <laughs> That's pretty clever merch design. It's really actually. cool. I've seen it before and it's really neat. But it was like now see now that's the stuff that I'm like you know like oh how nice <laughs> interesting, uh, very funny. Okay, so doing? the book is on Hotsen's lap. This is Hotsen's lap. It's a very big lap. <laughs> but yeah, Mason, oh, long story short, I've been out of the My Hero Academia scene for long enough where it's like, I don't even know. They, they have a reputation, like the fans of them for being weird or like, you know. Yeah, there there's issues with... The shipping community. There's also like the fans are a little. Man, what what doesn't thing. have issues with their own shipping community like, though? Every you know? fandom has that issue. Yeah, so it just like, gives Voltron vibes all over just, again. You know, whatever. We, guys, we have been through the Voltron wars at yeah. this point. We're just like nothing can hurt us. Uh, yeah, honestly, Voltron was probably like my first. Like I'm in. I'm like in this fandom. Like, very in like this the fandom, fandom, and I there's think. a lot of discourse, right? 
Yeah. I count I would say I count Gravity Falls as my first I might fandom. also count Attack on Titan too cuz I was also in that one and let me tell you yeah, in the I early see, days see. no one could decide who Eren Yeager should be shipped with. Like he was <laughs> literally shipped with everybody. Okay, it is very and people had very, very strong reasons for arguing uh, their side. Branded. But what happened? Um Amazon posted the picture of the book and what they did to it with the <laughs> with the black construction paper. Okay, yeah, it is it's very my hero academia branded. It's like Izuku and Ochako like front and center and then as Mineta oh, okay. and Denki and Todoroki in the back and it's big letters my hero academia school briefs. So little uh, school, school stuff. But looks very fun. I'm sad that uh, the discourse has caused you to be ashamed, Mason, but I'm glad that you're still reading it anyway if you enjoy it, because that's the yeah. that's the true that's the true thing you gotta do. Don't let don't let the discourse dissuade you from enjoying the thing, and exactly. you know what creative way to go get around it to go around it. If you get enjoyment out of it, do it. Indeed, but yeah. So after Voltron and everyone be like ship wars and all that sort of stuff and just Good be like God. yeah you know i'm just i'm just here in my goop i'm enjoying, like, I'm the, enjoying the fan art yeah i'm enjoying the stories and we're just like not gonna acknowledge the death threats and the discourse and everything well, i was also i was also not on twitter at that time and i would still consider myself very not on twitter every once in a while i'll like open it and like Obviously, my feed is very curated, so it'll be like, oh, yes, lots of really fun, good art. Close it and not think about it for a long time. That's how I sent you that, like, a uh, dad Nami pic. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, that was Twitter. so good. Uh, it's basically, basically because a tweet came up from someone I follow that was like, why join a Discord that is 90% themed around a ship just to go in and say that they're your no TP? And it's like, because people want the drama. And then I just kept scrolling and I got all this good, good art shit from it. Um, Some people just want to watch the world burn. Yeah. You know, rage bait and all that, right? Totally. But, uh, it's their so. call if that's how they want to do it. But yeah, so the, the My Hero Academia stuff just is like, whoosh, like, I just brush it off your back. Just, I'm gone. I don't think about it. <laughs> but speaking of, I saw a really cute My Hero Academia art, and it was a little ship between Bakugo's parents and Izuku's mom, and they were just really wholesome together. Like, holding hands and being like, oh, our sons, what is, what is happening? You know, like, as I was like, I need to talk to you guys. It was just really cute. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> See, there's almost a thing. Do I ship it? I don't know. Was it really cute dynamics of them just being, like, cute together? Yeah, it was nice. <laughs> Except. <laughs> right? That's the whole thing. Like, I was never, like, a hunk lance shipper, you know? Mm. But, like, when the art came across my feed, it's like, yeah, they're, they like, can be cute, you art. know? Yeah. Like, they can be they can be cuties. I, I, I'm i happy with, like, hunk baking for lance or something. You know, like, like I, and I don't have to be, like, nuts about it, right? And the art's good, and we're just good, and you just move along. I think it's funny. I think a lot of discourse is less people not being able to move along, which a lot of people say, you know, when you hear like artists talk about it, it's like, just block them and move on, right? And I feel like it's less about people who should be doing that and more about people who just want to stir shit. Mm. There, there's so oh, many people definitely. that just want to stir shit. And I feel like it's much less the people that are just like, I don't want to see this, like genuinely. And for whatever reason, deciding not to curate their feed to their own thing and more just like people being like haha i can make discourse and be internet famous or whatever just like be a troll exactly <laughs> like uh, why ridiculous ridiculous indeed <laughs> i say ridiculous it's just like some sometimes it's not fun anymore when it gets to be too much well i it's i feel like it's very not fun for a lot of people like pretty early on but you know that's not the shit stirrers mo in the first place anyway uh, true true what is this angle and why is it like this 
Is this from the side? No, it's from the front. Okay. This um, is Ori? What? The screen has been ah. tucked away in the corner. You're still showing your Discord. <laughs> Whoops. I was looking at the we were looking at the thingy. <laughs> No, no one can see my beautiful I'm background. I'm sorry. I wonder if I do this, does it help? Hold on. I know I'm showing Discord again. I'm trying to fix it's it. It's okay. Uh, let's try this one. No. This one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No. Not doing what I want. Sadly, it's not doing what I want. So we shall put it back. Put it away. <laughs> I have to remember to use my phone for the Discord. I wonder if there's a better way to stream your uh your thing in the future but i don't know possibly won't be a thing to look into you know you never know okay i feel like i want this to span the whole image i don't know why it's not it's uh, good it's the great ursa in the sky guys yeah I, I actually I thought about changing That's his cute. name. Oh, well, you know, I do change the script sometimes when Ori's in the panel process, so that's totally fine. <laughs> sometimes I'll get back to Ori and be like, hey, so I changed this one line. Yeah, I, I want him to be called Osoro <laughs> instead of just Oso. Because it's like a mashing of oso and oro, which is bear and gold in Spanish. So, osoro. Da, 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 da. Okay, we need some sand color. Because they're sitting on the ground. Look at them. Yeah, they're just, they're I'm little like, buddies. My brain is just so, like, I don't remember coloring these at all. <laughs> like, like I said, guys, Ori purged the memory. I didn't mean to. I didn't hate Look, doing Ocean's it. His undercut is floating off his head. Yeah, that's your fault, though, not mine. <laughs> that's why she purged it from her memory. It was that bad. Uh, no, no. I just I literally just I kinda forgot. I really want to fix this, actually. Uh, I also do that. I'm I'm doing that cuz this this is driving me crazy. I I also fix uh mistakes. I, I can't do the floating toupee. <laughs> the to the undercut toupee, yes. The undercut toupee. Yeah, that that's that's, that's not doing it for me. Uh, I'm sorry that you don't like your own undercut toupee, Mars. I, I, hey, you were complaining about your own lines earlier tonight. So <laughs> That was, that was that was sketches. They don't count. Why can't you I skipped the sketch fun? step. You made it harder on yourself. Did I? Did I now? Yeah, you literally were like just going in first lines. That's that's the lines. I think I just I I cut out the middleman. I don't know what you you're You did. Talking about. You did cut out the middleman. And thus we resulted in floating <laughs> toupees, Mars. I, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> That sounds like like a you you didn't want that you know but I don't know maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Well, I thought I could at least you know connect it. Like hi, okay, Hannah. Now, now how are it's you? Actually, on his head. Oh uh, yes. So that's a bit Today better. we're doing a little something funky, Hannah. Uh, Mars and cheese. I make this comic called Outcast, which you uh can read on webtoon and many other yes. places it's a very good comic please check it out ori does the art i do the writing but in this uh, case today mars is doing the art for something i wrote for the comic 
Yes. Because uh, we had a recently our, our anniversary. Anniversary. So, for yeah. the comic, which was super So exciting. that's what we're okay, doing. Okay, that's better. Look. It is no it is improved, floating. yes. It's no longer floating off his head. His, his improved, undercut yes. is no longer trying to run away from him. Normally the art looks uh, more like this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just, an, uh, just an example here. This is what they Me, usually look say, like. I am not an artist in <laughs> the pen and paper sense. <laughs> the, the paint and ink sense. <laughs> I also don't paint and ink. It should work, Digital Mason, ink, but it's always then. weird. I don't know why. But, uh... YouTube is kind of weird with streaming. Uh, no, we, we got a script going. We have very cool characters. It is a fun, found family, uh, heal your past drama, trauma vibe. Drama, <laughs> with trauma. The drama, yes, yeah. That was, that was intentional, I definitely, promise. Definitely, definitely. Um, <laughs> you should it, be able to, Mason, but it's Listen, we may be biased, but uh, it's a good comic. <laughs> it says it should work. Huh. Does it not? Yeah, it, it should work on YouTube too, but I, I don't know why it never does. Hmm. Weird. Weird. Um, maybe okay, so now that I fixed Totsin's to pay problem. Let's give some background. Now we're just gonna swoop. There's some sand. Oh my God, Senate, I made your tail so skinny. Why did I do that <laughs> to you? My sushi boy, why? Okay, let's see if this works now. Basically, this was an exercise in learning why Ori and I have the roles that we have. <laughs> but also gaining respect for each other's roles. It works now, Mason! I think it was too long. I think I sort of realized that it was too long. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Because every time I have to cross post it, it like, um, I can't cross post the whole thing. And oh. so I was like, hmm, maybe the response is too long and YouTube doesn't like it. And uh, oh, that, that seems to be, be the issue. Yay, we fixed it. Woo. Okay, yeah, because so. I, I have like all links, you know, they should, they should all work. <laughs> You know, there was a little too much sand there, so we're we're gonna dial it back a bit. Take out all that sand. Yay, but now it works. Woo! There we go. Okay. We're working on this one. Everything is still visible. Good. So many pieces and parts. Indeed. But there you go, Mason. You made it so that now the YouTube link works. It's all because of you. I literally probably never would have done it. <laughs> Otherwise. Tis, tis, Scory. Ori only got so much time in the day. <laughs> and that time is spent making YouTube videos and comics. <laughs> Be grateful. And doing a job so Ori can eat. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Mostly so Ori can fund the comic and the, <laughs> and the videos. That is very true, too. <laughs> uh, that is true, Mason. But, you know, I, as I've said before, I like being a small streamer. Well, this is with the intent of, like, getting more people to watch and stuff. And, like, we do, of course, love when, you know, we do get new people and everything. That's always fun. It is, to a certain extent, I don't want to have streams be so big consistently that we can't like talk with everybody because to me that's yeah. the that's the big fun part of it if we couldn't talk with you guys and, and get to bounce stuff off of you it, it wouldn't nearly be as fun well what would the point be 
Well, you know, it, it's to entertain, which, you know, definitely our Ace Attorney streams are more like that, but All still. right, guys. Backgrounds are complete. <gasps> now she has to put in the words. Oh, thank you for not making me do shading. Oh, no. Oh, you shit, you're right. You do have to do shading. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> yes! Don't make me do shading! I'm begging you! I have to you. do shading! No! Yes! No, you can't! Render it, Mars! No! I can't! It's gonna turn into a muddy mess! I can't! Can I, can I, will you I can't do it? shade to will, save will my you, life! Will, will you do it if I give you one trick? Uh, on one panel, and if it works, then fine. Okay. You're gonna go. Uh, what's the trick? You're gonna pick your pen. Go to your panel. Pick your panel. Uh, I'll I'll do this cute hoax. Okay. I think the I... best option is mm -hmm. to take the the sky color. Okay. And make a layer over top the color layer and clip it to that layer. All the colors. Yeah. Okay. I gotta find the. I think it's yeah two has okay all right new okay. layer made and it's clipped to the color layer uh it has that little red bar next to it nope okay at the top next to the lighthouse symbol the top next to the lighthouse to the left symbol. of the lighthouse symbol there's a little two squares clipped to layer below oh okay and now the layer it's has a little now. orange bar and is kind of indented yep Okay, now, while on that same layer, above that, you see where it says normal, and there's a drop-down menu? Yep. Third one down, multiply. Click that. Okay. Now, set the opacity to, like, maybe, like, 50. Oh, crap, I gotta change my opacity. Uh, next to where you just made it multiply, there's a little slider bar. Oh, Bring it to crap. the middle. Okay. Okay. 50. Yeah, and now draw the shadow. Where do shadows go? Where the light don't hit him. I don't know where that is! <laughs> when you picture, uh, picture... On his butt, I guess? Yeah, on his back. Yeah, on the other side of the leg. Yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah, just like that. Usually where two things on top of each other, you know, the under thing will get it, so like... I do like his shirt where his jacket is. Yeah, his lapel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're doing it. I don't like it. <laughs> it doesn't look right. It looks purple. Well, then lower the like, opacity is... more. More? Okay, I guess that's better. I don't know. It's the... Shading never looks right to me. It, when you do it yourself, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> this is basically no, I... what I do with, you know, extra steps. I mean, I, you know, I do extra steps. Only the recent images, Mars, do I not do this method. I, this is, this is, ah. this is the cheaty digital art method. Now there's a little more steps in it. I have three blending layers and then, um, sometimes a fourth, depending on the stuff like rendering layers normally but it's just multiply in a background color overlay in a background color and add glow <laughs> and a bright color of the light for my signature rim lighting that I oh love so much and uh, yeah however in the most recent art that I that I did uh, that'll be on the Kofi those I actually picked colors for each area i didn't use any blending modes i just had a just had a color theory time Ooh. i was fancy and didn't cheat at all and look guys so you know just because i'm a digital artist doesn't mean that i don't know how to art <laughs> or he knows how to art uh so i went to daiso Okay, I went to Daiso. Oh yeah. They didn't like have it, it was it was smaller than, you know, a lot of Daiso I see. Like, you know, I've seen ones like in Japan online and stuff. You know, so it's definitely smaller than that significantly. So sadly they didn't have the packing material that I wanted in the sizes that I needed. Uh Damn. but I had a good time otherwise, you know, just, just kinda fun in uh and shopping around and everything. So I got 
I got socks, fuzzy, just, you know, short little warm house socks. I got bath slippers that are plush and pink, and I'm, they're very nice. And then I got, uh, uh, brain things. I got a little dish to put my, like, tea bags on. Uh, oh, for the tea station. And it's just cute. It's just white with a little flower, but it has, like, good size, so it keeps, like, the liquid in. Right? That was really nice. I got this really pretty, like, pastel colored paper pad. It's called Milky Color Paper. And they're just really pretty colors. And I was going to doodle the outcast characters on their respective colors, mm -hmm. uh, and put them in the little poster things. So, um... I plan to do that. They're in my sketchbook right now. Very just pretty little color things. Did I get anything else? Little pink post-it notes. Tiny oh, ones. Oh, cute! Just because they're, they're cute and small and they're pink. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. Hey, it was all only 15 she bucks is. what I got, so. Look at her at hair. I actually treated myself to a little bit of a splurge this weekend, too. Ooh. I saw on Good Smile that they were having their Lunar New Year sale. Uh-huh. So decided to treat myself to one of their mystery figures. Oh. Um, I got a Figma that was only $30. <laughs> Dang. Of who? I will find out what it is, oh. actually, when it arrives. Oh. But it was like... Yeah, the figmas are usually pretty expensive. Thirty dollars, and it's like Mars has a gotten lucky one. a couple I'm times. Okay. I've gotten lucky, if it, like guys. Okay, there was this one story. I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna give my hand a rest because it's starting to hurt. I'll tell this story. There was one time I went to my local uh, retro gaming store. retro game. <laughs> yes, thank you. I forgot the word retro. So I was like, my video game store. That that doesn't sound right. My my retro game store. And they also sell some anime figures there. So they were doing a Jujutsu Kaisen promotion uh, where they were giving away a whole bunch of Jujutsu Kaisen merch. And the this was done through uh, pulling tickets, pulling lotteries. So like you buy a ticket, you put it in the hat, and you see if you get the one that matches with the prize you're trying to get. Um, and they had like the little mini figs they had um those little wooden rounded ones they had magnets pins keychains and then they had these really nice like scale figurines like the 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 six inch ones that are really good like kind of like the papa parade figure but like even nicer than that like another step above that um, I'll have to check the brand again. Hey, Oscar. Welcome, Hello, welcome. Oscar. Buenas noches. But, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm with my friend at, uh, this store, and, you know, we decide to buy tickets for shits and giggles. Like, I'm not actually expecting to get anything out of this. Like, if most, I'm like, oh, I'll get a sticker pack. That would be cute. I'll, I'll stick them on my laptop or something. Um, so I decided to purchase, I think I purchased two tickets. And each uh, ticket had a letter that corresponded to the tier. So, like, if you got A tier, you got a really good prize. You got one of those figures. Um, and there were only so many of them. There were about two. This promotion was in its very first week when we went. Reached in, pulled that ticket. <laughs> and it had the letter A on it. And I look up and I'm just like... There's no, there's no way. There, there's like, no fucking way. What? <laughs> this, this didn't just happen, right? <laughs> and the guy comes over and looks at my ticket. He's like, yeah, no, you, you get a figure. I'm like, it's day one or two. Like, it's definitely week one of the promotion. I'm like, wow. Okay. <laughs> so the figure was of Yuji Tadori. Uh, he's very cool looking. He's got his blue flame in his hand. He's in a cool action pose. I absolutely love him. He's a good um, boy. Yeah, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I was like, wait, what the? Because, <laughs> like, there were only two figures yeah. that you could get. There were only two A tickets. <laughs> it was literally, like, a two in a hundred chance. I was like. What the fuck? So, yeah, I'm so curious. Happen? You know, I, I feel like your thing is a win 
as long as it's someone you know. I mean, the, these figmas usually go for like upwards of $100. To get even one, I will consider a win. <laughs> <laughs> like, as long as it's in a cool pose and it's not like too embarrassing to show off because I do still live with my parents. I don't want to have to explain Miku, you know, why, swimwear. Why uh... Certain characters are dressed the way they're dressed, you know? Yeah. As long as I don't get that, I think it'll be okay. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm excited. It actually, I just got the notification that it shipped today. Ooh. So it's coming very soon. They also took out my payment for Wolfwood. So he's yes. going to be on his way very I'm soon. I'm waiting for that. I'm very hyped. Bash needs his husband. Please bring okay. him home. I didn't realize, I need him. I didn't realize before. Like, I didn't think about it. But Nanami and Bash are both, like, blonde, kind of, like, <laughs> the hair. You know, it's, it's, it was a little, like, huh. You're collecting all well, the blood. Well, I Wolfwood's coming, so he'll he'll balance well, it out. Wolfwood is on his way. Wolfwood's on his way. I need him. I need him. Bring but him I, home. Honestly, what I really, really need, but honestly don't actually need, I need freaking Leos to get the same level of figure as Marcel has. Why can't I have a Marcel like that? Marcel is getting all the figures. Like, she's getting, like, the running pose, the walking pose, the sitting pose. It's like, don't get me wrong, I like Marcel, but my boy, my boy. It's because she's cute. Cute cells. Yeah, I guess. Then where's Chillchuck, okay? Okay, Chillchuck is adorable, you're right. Chillchuck is great. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Oscar. Making, making my it. house with figure. Yep. In this economy, yes. That's the secret. That's my secret, Cap. I don't buy a house. I build one. <laughs> out, of, out of my figures. Out of my figures. <laughs> Guys, I do not have that many figures. I have... I have two Nendroids. They're Dazai from Bungo Stray Dogs and Power from Chainsaw Man. Th those were a birthday splurge. Um, I have Soji from Persona 4, but he's not an official Nendroid. He's Nendoroid, he's kind of like a knockoff. He still looks really cool, and he came with a really cool backing card from the game. So, like, I, oh. I still really like him. Leos and is then a I have. Too. He does! Yes! The noodle stopper figure, Leo. Oh my god, that's too oh good. Oh my god. And he's not expensive and... either. Then I have my three figurines. So you guys know I have Yuji. You know I have Bash. I also have Rengoku. And he's in like his cool pose. He's got the cape flying back. He's got his sword raised. He's like, he's posed to strike. I also just realized that my big figures, they all have a red and black color scheme. Like Yuji has his school uniform with the red hoodie and shoes. Bash has the red jacket and the black uh, turtleneck. And then Rengoku has the black Slayer uniform with the red highlights. <laughs> and then there's the Edward Elric uh, pop figurine. So yeah, red, red, black, and blonde, apparently. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> that was unintentional. Uh, my, mine are blue-haired himbos or blondes. <laughs> Blonde suit wears shit. Oh. Fuck. Wow. You wow. Blonde with gray suit <laughs> or blue haired spiky himbo <laughs> and Vash. Those are the <laughs> and, oh Vash. and Vash and <laughs> Vash. Oh my god, that's hilarious! Yeah, because I have I have um I have Reagan his blue and Nami himbo. Yeah, <laughs> but I have Reagan and the Nami. Who are oh my blondes God. with gray suits. The blondes with gray suits. And then I have Gallo and uh, Kamina. Uh, Kamina, who are spiky blue haired himbos. <laughs> and then I have oh. Ash, and soon I'll have Wolfwood, and then I'll have my Leo. But then you have another just... suit. Oh, because Wolfwood. You're going to have another guy in a suit. Uh, the suits are good. Everybody knows about the suits, okay? Suit suits are great. Especially the way it hangs on him with the button open, like, mm. uh huh. Why uh. they make the figure so good? They make them so good. They 
I'm getting this Leos you, now. You know what I would lose my mind over? If the mystery figma they send me is the Leo Fotia one. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nuts. I would lose my goddamn mind if they do that. That would be your your luck would be insane. I, I would question what's going to happen to me for the rest of the year because my luck will have run out. Like, that is what all my luck will be spent on. Yeah. E everything else is like, well, the rest of this year is down the toilet because all my luck went into this figma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I never watched Italia, Oscar. I, I was adjacent to Italia in the sense of that I knew a bunch of people who were really, really into it. So I vaguely understood the concept uh, but I was not anime enough yet at the Hitalia height to, uh, do that. I actually did watch Hitalia. It, it was interesting. Like, it, it's definitely a trip. Like, the fandom was the most interesting. Like, between the shipping and the historical accuracy of everything, it was wild. <laughs> Mm. Like, just absolute insanity sometimes. I did really like the episode that showed Alfred as a kid and, uh, what's his name? Arthur raising him. Like, that That was cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, Country Humans is like the new Hatalia, right? Like, Country Humans is a big thing. Uh, oh, there there was this one guy I followed on Instagram. He's still around. He just doesn't post as much. But he did Country Humans. Uh-huh. And they were honestly done so well. I think, what was his name? David something? I'll send it to you if I find it, Ori. Okay. But he did really good comics. I got my boy. I officially have only one character that I have multiple figures of, and it is now like Doodle. Doodle Dan! That was it! Okay, now where are his countries? It, you know, it's probably good that I was into Fairy Tale a lot later than the height of Fairy Tale. Sometimes I feel like it does pay off to join a fandom late. Like, cause then sometimes you could just enjoy it and not worry about all the drama, which can be really. Oh nice. yeah, 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 I mean, if I'm being honest, I feel pretty, oh, okay. pretty good fun. about being like uh, Where's the outside a lot of the drama. Oh okay, all right. I sent you favorite two countries. Worry. I feel like that's so difficult. Okay, hold on. I have to, I have to show it differently. Then you guys can see my art now. <gasps> How magic. <gasps> How Reveal. Beautiful. Uh, what did you send it to me where? On Instagram. Uh, well, I'll send oh, you sorry. a picture of the Leos I just pre ordered. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I'm you bought obsessed. it just now? Yes! <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> oh my god. Oh I love my him. god. He's oh, my boy! He's so cute. <laughs> Because his, his, his little legs, his little legs will dangle off yeah. your desk. Okay. His face is honestly really good. I know. That's some good detail. And he wasn't expensive. He was like Papa Parade, you know. Look at price. the folds in the boots. This oh my is God. well detailed. No, the, the, okay, I have to show you the one where you can really see the chain armor. The chain armor is epic as hell. Look at this chain armor. Okay, I need this. Oh, I know. Wait, is that on the one you just bought? Yes! Holy shit! For the price of a Papa parade! <laughs> no fucking way! Yes, they also have Marcel. But yes! Dude, that is some insane detail! It's good. It's good stuff. Wow. I told you, I had to get him. I have to... He is now officially oh. the only character that I will have multiple figures of. Like, purposefully. <laughs> Wait, no, I do have multiple Naruto because his sage form is just too good. The sage form is very good. I are, I had his uh, Rasengan. Yeah, Rasengan. 
And then I found his sage form one. I was like, okay, well, I have to have that too. But let me let me go look on Instagram now. <laughs> I don't know what my favorite country is. I feel like that's a really difficult thing to choose. <laughs> Mason, what's your favorite country? <laughs> uh, I don't think I have a favorite country. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my god, this is so funny, Mark. <laughs> Isn't it great? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, it's the states as people. <laughs> Are you showing and streamer? Gay. I'm not. I'm just looking at it. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it's very funny. Australia is your favorite country. Mm. They've been doing real good stuff. They have. I feel like it's difficult to though. I, I feel like it's one of those things. And this is why I find it difficult to be like, I have a favorite country. It's because it's like, there's a lot of benefits from like America, but there's also a ton of shit going on with America. You know, like, this, mm. and you're not gonna find one, you know, a lot of people were like, oh, let's go to Canada, right? But like, Canada's having some shit going down, you know, like Britain, you know, all of it. It's like, eh. Ah, then you can say hi to Sarah Mason. <laughs> That'd be neat. You guys can hang out, have a good time. Uh, Mason, if you want to do that, I would look into when you know I, I, you got a full ride to that college of yours. Um, check if they have an exchange uh, program that you could participate in and go to uh, Australia. I know my cousin, oh, um, yeah. he was really interested in two colleges over there. Um, I think actually one of them was in New Zealand, not Australia. Um, but so he did look into colleges specifically that had uh, exchange student programs uh, where he could go study in Australia for a period of time. Also, Mars and I are reading a web tune. Well, I don't know how up to date she is. And, and one oh, of them lives uh, in Australia. Summer Boo? Yeah. And the yep, other I'm one is up. studying abroad, me too, in Australia. <laughs> the yellow one? What? <laughs> you said the yellow one? No. I oh. said the other one. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I'm like, what the hell is she talking about? Because there's a blonde character yeah, in it, and I thought you forgot his one. name, so you just said no, the yellow it's one. It's LP and L L D. L D. Whatever. <laughs> brain. Brain is braining. Okay. Brain. I is didn't say the braining. yellow one. I said the other one. <laughs> Brain saw Laos and broke. Yeah, I mean he's beautiful and he was not expensive, he's so I got him. Also, I'm I'm returned to those really expensive headphones and I'm totally gonna go with like cheaper ones because I realized the most important thing to me those is that headphones they're... screwed you over. Well, yeah, the two so two so far the two really nice ones that I've tried to get, well, good, also kind of suck. So to me, I'm just like <laughs> if they're gonna suck in like a specific way. How Nicole, how are you? Hey, Nicole. Nicole, have you been seeing all? I think you have been seeing all my all my sneak peeks in the Discord. Check out the sneak peeks I'm if you nuts haven't. With my sneak sneak peeks. They're good. But, They're amazing. Um, They're wonderful. What was I gonna say? My brain got got brained away. Uh. Help Ori's brain. Uh. Bring the brain back today. I was just so happy to see Nicole. <laughs> Mars should, should take that with a doctor. It could be a concussion. No. Uh, what the hell was I talking about, Mars? Please. You were talking about. It's contagious. Oh crud! It's contagious. Oh crud! Nicole came in, and I we forgot. just like Nicole so much. You you were talking oh, about so happy, studying Nicole. abroad in Australia. Told Mason yeah. to look into a study abroad program. And then we got into talking about Summer Boo and then saying the other oh, one. Oh yeah, the yellow then, one. No, nope, catching up LD. Yeah, no. Nope, I think it's Oh, gone. you were saying no, you were saying um one of the web comics we're reading takes place in Australia. Yeah, Mars, that that, you that caught up. That uh 
that brain tangent was done. I was on to something else. Oh, well, then I'm lost. Yeah, too far. Avocado I water lost... is good for brain. I should have I more water. I lost the thread. I'm so happy. So, Nicole, uh, because like I don't get to experiment a lot with my style with the comic because you know you want you mostly well it is partially you don't you you want to be you know on the more consistent side I also don't want to take the time to experiment when it's kind of like I have deadlines and like it's important to get to and everything so when I do like the little extra stuff that's when I like style experiment so those most recent sneak peeks um are like uh, I actually colored them without using blending layers in the art program, Nicole. I'm very proud of myself. Ooh. When the reverse is rolling, it's rolling. As you can see, Slasher, this is Mars drawing our <laughs> mini comic written by <laughs> me, which is not the norm. <laughs> that is the yep. opposite of what we do for the comic. It's very much not the norm. Uh, but so I colored it, Nicole, with, like, just picking colors individually for each portion of it, not using, like, a blending layer or, like, a, anything. I mean, I still used Add Glow because, like, you really can't get the same vibe without it. Like, it does it does a little something extra. And I, I ain't gonna give that up. Yeah, blending layers is using multiply and stuff, yeah. Exactly, Slasher, right? Right? Can't you? Mm -hmm. She's doing so well. Yeah, those are the blending layers. And so, yeah, that's how I color the comic. I use, like, multiply and overlay and um, add glow, which is, like, my child. I love add glow. <laughs> add glow is so good. Um, I was so happy because they came out really, 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 really good. I was very proud. And it's fun. We like style experimentation. <gasps> nice, Nicole. High five, twins. Ooh. And also, yes, it is Valentine's Day over there for you. Wow, that's wild to think about, but makes makes sense. It's going to be Valentine's Day tomorrow for us. Yes, it is. Exciting, exciting. Exciting indeed. Oops. My Valentine's Day plans aren't till Sunday, though, because one going on out on the day is one terrible, and it's horrible. two, Do especially on a weekday, and it's just like not not worth it. <gasps> happy birthday, Slasher! Oh, Your birthday is today, birthday. the thirteenth, or today Valentine's Day. Ooh, that's one heck of a birthday. Valentine's Day is pretty wild. Day before Valentine's Day, still pretty wild. There was someone on the internet, so, you know, Mars and I listen to a lot of, like, um, the 13th. Alright, very cool. Oh, but that means you can have Friday the 13th birthday sometimes. How have those gone? I hope okay. <laughs> <laughs> but very nice. Happy birthday, Slasher. Another year. You've done it again. Right before, indeed. But then you always have something to look forward to. You know, a lot of people get depressed around Valentine's Day, right? If they don't have anybody, it can be sad. But you, you get cool fun times anyway, right before. So it all works out, you know? Your birthday, exactly. right beforehand, you still have something to look forward to. It's all about perspective. Oh, snap, Nicole. Same for your friend. Look at that. It's mostly been Tuesdays. Okay. That's an interesting thing to think about. I never thought about what day of the week my birthday is mostly <laughs> <laughs> well I mean with February you also have to account for the occasional leap year. leap year yeah but the days like cycle through so I don't know February being a weird month maybe you don't celebrate Valentine's Day just cause you don't or because like where you live doesn't I'm just, I'm just curious, because it's obviously like a pretty big holiday in America. Like, oh, yeah. I learned from Tim Stradamus and Voice that apparently, like, billions of dollars are spent on Valentine's Day gifts for pets every year. And yep. I'm just like, you know what? Fuck yeah, they des they deserve, they deserve it. Pets yeah. deserve it. Give your fur babies, va celebrate Valentine's Day with your fur babies. Oh, <gasps> guys, 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 guys! I realized something. 
really, really, really neat. What? And that it? is that my job would technically allow for me to work with my dog. Ah. <laughs> <gasps> She could be in the car with me, and we could walk around and go on little walks and measure stuff, and it'd be really cute. That's Yo, so don't sad. give your fur babies chocolate. Not chocolate. No, please but don't fur give your baby, fur babies chocolate. You know, approved and safe Valentine's Day gifts. <laughs> that just reminded See, oh, me of something I saw, but I'll say later. <laughs> oh, oh, I was gonna say. So Slasher just celebrates because they don't like have a significant other or anything like that. What did, uh, this is an interesting thing. What did your parents do for Valentine's Day? Because I don't know if this was an everybody thing or you know, but this is what my family did. I would always get like something Valentine's Day related from my parents, just like you know, chocolate or something, you know, like just like a little. I don't think it was ever like a card, it was mainly just like chocolate, but just like cool that you know, I got like a gift you know like i wasn't left out my mom actually worked at the school that we went to for a number of years and the school that we went to had like uh the like rose message thing right oh where yeah. you could like spend a dollar what was and you that could get... rose grams yeah Something whatever like and then they would be delivered to the person at the classroom like in the morning or something and what my mom would do is she would and i knew but she would like send me a rose but it would be like anonymous <laughs> so i was like the cool kid because it's like i have a secret admirer but I was, it was just my mom and i knew it was my mom but i i appreciated it because it was like i'm cool people like me because i would say definitely in school i was like a weird kid i was definitely one of the weird kids because oh my oh, god yeah. in middle school this is hilarious in middle school uh they did like superlatives for the yearbook and i got um oh yeah i got i got i think the superlative was most unique but the other kid that i was paired with the guy of the superlative was a guy that we that we that at least i even could recognize that the general population of the school was like this is a weird kid and we don't interact with him so it was definitely much more of a slight than like a a thing, but I, I wore it with honor, man. I was the weird kid, and I was okay. I was okay with that, you know. <laughs> this is what it is. Say it loud. Say I'm, it proud. I'm very proud that I was never afraid to be who I was. <laughs> I very nearly Ooh. got best eyes in middle nice school, slasher. but then it was snatched from me. <laughs> and that is my villain origin story. You have a fur baby named Gizmo. Your origin story. <laughs> your village. You know, your village origin My village story? <laughs> your villain origin story. I was laughing too hard. I couldn't say it. Oh, goodness. Oh, Wednesday, because it was the day before Thanksgiving, Mason. That's wild. So your does your birthday then sometimes fall on Thanksgiving, Mason? Or is it... I mean, I think that's how that would work, right? Moving holidays make life weird, I gotta say. Holidays that are on, like, a day and not a date are, like, fucky-wucky. <laughs> that's a first. <laughs> what? I've said that Fuck before. Fucky-wucky? Yeah. I have definitely said that before. You have definitely not said that before. Oh, go feed Gizmo Slasher. I am very certain that I have. I am very certain you have not. If you say so. I'm pretty sure. Sussy wussy, yes. Fucky wucky, no. Okay, I've definitely said it outside of stream. Maybe. Ooh, it was on Thanksgiving this year. Wow. Well, last year, I guess. Wow. Oh, wow. Interesting. That's pretty neat. I feel like I feel like it's pretty okay to have your birthday on a holiday besides christmas that's the one that people get sort of like iffy about. about because you give gifts on christmas right you don't really give gifts or not the same kind of gift giving on any other holiday like you know Sometimes at least you get people who are like this present is for both your birthday and christmas yeah it makes it odd um so dylan and my anniversary of like starting dating is on 
the eve of Christmas Eve. So it is already a little weird. It's like, okay, wait, is this a is this an anniversary gift? Is this a val you know a, a Christmas gift? So I'm definitely like when I get married, it's like we're picking a date that's not near another holiday. You know, like I want it to be it's this and everybody knows it's this and it's the same thing. It's like this is concrete, everyone knows. Why'd you feel locked oh. in? I, I just got the joke now, Slish. I didn't get the I didn't I'm get sorry. the Gremlins Gizmo? joke. Gizmo, really? I didn't get the Gremlins joke. I'm sorry. Gizmo is a fine name for a pet. I oh, have Gizmo never is a wonderful fully name for a pet. seen the a Gremlins movie. Okay, so just I only just got it. I'll also tell a secret. I've never watched the Gremlins movie. I saw like my ten minutes of one. My mom, my mom had interesting standards for shows when I was growing up. SpongeBob, not allowed. Too stupid. Yeah. Was gonna rot my brain. I know. Willow and Stitch wasn't allowed to watch That's it. The alien stupid. was too annoying. Ugh. Gremlins, she wasn't allowed out. to watch it. The alien was too annoying. <laughs> See, Gremlins, I wasn't not. I don't remember not being allowed to watch. I just never had, you know, like an interest in attempting to. And my parents were never like, "This is a movie you need to see." Like I saw mm. Star Wars because we watched The Sorcerer's Apprentice, and they have a Star Wars reference in it. And that was like the oh. final straw for my dad. Apparently, I had seen a bunch of other movies with Star Wars references, and that was like, and obviously didn't get them. And that was like the final straw for my dad was the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Like I remember this very vividly of him being like, because he goes like, uh, I need to see your faculty identification card. And the guy goes, you do not need to see my faculty identification card. And then he goes, you do these not are not the my... droids. No, you're looking literally, for. literally, the other guy makes specifically that joke and just goes, these are not <laughs> the droids you're looking for. Scene. And my dad is like. It's like Ori, do you like do you get that? You know, do you understand where that's from? I'm like, no, I don't. I no. don't know where that's from. It's just Sorry, And he's like, Dad. that's it. We're watching Star tomorrow we're watching Star Wars. That's it. We're doing we bought, broke out the laser disc. Uh, oh man. That's one of my favorite memories is Hardcore. getting to watch something on laser disc. We had The Lion King and Star Wars episode 4 were on laser disc. And that, you know, it that was is just something really nice. It was really funny. My introduction through Star Wars was actually through the Lego games. Um, I don't know why my dad picked up the Lego games, but he did one day. And he was like, oh, this looks fun to play. Let's play it together because it had co-op. Mm -hmm. So my dad and I were playing the Lego Star Wars game together. It had the original trilogy and it also had the prequel trilogy. So I was able to play the whole story. And what the Lego games did was they had kind of these silent cutscenes. Like there were sound effects and like little ha 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 type noises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no dialogue or anything. Like not like the newer Lego games. Uh huh. So, like I'm watching the scene where like Darth Vader is doing the bad stuff. I'm watching a scene like where where Padme dies giving birth. Like in the Lego game, they literally just like put X's over her eyes. <laughs> like. It's kind of made goofy. Yeah, but well, it's I'm for children. I'm watching as a kid, and I'm like, oh, what's going on? And my dad's like, you should see the original story. Want to watch the original story? So at first, he starts showing it to me in, like, small clips. Like, he had the DVDs, but he's showing me, like, bits and pieces. Like, this is the dream Anakin was having. This is the nightmare he was having. And this is the reason why. So my dad's, like, explaining the story to me. Just and watch the movie. one day, we just sat down and watched it. I think he was like easing me into it because he didn't uh. know if I was going to like it or not. But I did and I was like, ooh, cool space stuff. Show me more. I mean, it's space wizards. Like, that's the beauty of Star Wars. Like, don't get me wrong. I enjoy the like most recent Star Trek movies where Chris Pine is Kirk and everything. Like, I do like them. But I don't know. Something about Star Wars and, you know, fantasy, you know, it's just, it's just another level. I will um, say this. I did grow up with Star Trek. Like, I grew up with the original, original Star Trek because it just ran on TV all the time, and that's just what I happened to watch. Mm. But I don't know. Aside from, like, when I was younger, Star Trek never really called me back to it for some reason. Like, I never felt pulled back into the franchise before. Mm -hmm. Twas uh, interesting. So Slasher has a couple questions, so I'm going to answer them. One, opinion Ooh, on Undertale. Nice. I believe both of us like that, yes. Oh, uh, Undertale, fantastic. I don't know 
I believe Deltarune has come out with more stuff since the first time I ever watched a playthrough of it. Oh, Deltarune, I'm pretty sure, is due for a part three. If yeah, I so I've only seen part one. Whoops, let's not... Hold on. Ah. I will say, I have been watching Matt's, bleh, Matt Pat's theories on Deltarune. Uh, they're very intriguing, I'll say. Ooh... And yes, I did watch Glitch Tale for a time. I watched like two of Glitch Tale. I don't remember watching very much more. Um, I watched the first parts and then I I tried watching season two and then I dropped it halfway through. Yeah, we never, I, I never played Undertale or Deltarune. I only watched I, Let's Plays. I attempted to play Undertale. And the first time I ever played was my friend coming to me and being like, hey, can you help me beat Sans? And I just got wrecked. <laughs> like, I had no <laughs> idea how to play the game. I had no idea what I was doing. I was like, this was a very bad introduction. I definitely, you know, a lot of art. That, that is the most that I honestly interact with, like, 99% of franchises is, like, I enjoy looking at artists make fan art of this. And that is honestly a, a surprising amount of the content that I have being like, uh, like just how I know the franchise at all. That's like Honkai, great. like, uh, like Honkai Star Rail and Genshin. It's like, I don't play game at all. I have never watched somebody like specifically play game at all. It is all through artist fan art of like shipping characters. I'll hate them and Kabe are her favorite characters and she's never played them. <laughs> we should make one a playthrough of Undertale or Deltarune. I don't think we would do that. It's not particularly... I, guys, you've seen Ori. Yeah, one, I'm Ori really, bad really at bad at game. I'm incredibly, horrifically bad at game. So uh, we're kind of leaning into the, like, very story, you know, story mystery <laughs> games. I'm very bad at game. Uh, but Visual novel games. Thank you, that's the word. Slashes other. See, I don't want to do just visual novels. See, Ace Attorney to me fits the vibe of like it's puzzle and story, right? Where like when I think of like you know I think of visual novel and I think of like Doki Doki Literature, right? You're like following a story and you're like making choices, but you're not really solving something. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, I need I need the extra little like brain level on it, right? Hmm. Yeah. Exactly, Oscar. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, uh, I was gonna say something. Slasher also asked, uh, Dylan has a fox character question mark. So Dylan is actually about to next month start a, uh, start playing in a 5e, a Dungeon Dragons 5e campaign with some, uh, friends that we knew in high school. Uh, Doug's playing with them too. And thus he has a new character. And he, uh, obviously needs art for that and i'm gonna mm -hmm. i'm of course sticking it to the the ai man and being like ha 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 look they're so good dylan i mean dylan was never gonna use ai art but like it's more to be like to the other people at the thing and be like ha ha look look how good artist thing is so yep. he has given me a lot of commissionary with the uh with the design ideally ideally i want to do it in a way that gives it more like um you know, people do, like, reference sheets with, like, stuff. And I've always wanted to get into them. But they just, you know, they can be a lot of work because you're doing, like, full bodies and all this sort of stuff. But if you're not rendering them, it's not exactly the same. So I was kind of doing this as, like, an experiment as well to be, like, how long will this take me to basically design a character? Because it's not based off anything, you know, but then make the ref sheet for it. But that's something that I really enjoy doing and could be in a niche uh, for things. We'll see. A D&D &D fiend right. slasher? Yes. Mostly we play Pathfinder now, but we used to play 5e. And yeah, so it's actually a tabaxi, but he's made it a fox person instead of a cat person, because honestly, vibe. We Gucci. We gangin'. And, um... My brain just died. I, yeah, he's oh, given no. me a lot of wiggle room with the design. Basically, like, his class, his subclass 
two reference photos. One of them is Hanzo from Overwatch, <laughs> which vibe though. And... Amazing. <laughs> okay, see that's a, that's another fandom that I'm like solely in it for the like I was solely in it for the art. There was a phase where I'm assuming what happened is an artist that I liked uh did like fan art of the Hanzo. I know his name isn't McCree anymore, but I don't know what his name is now. But Hanzo X McCree like fan art shipping stuff and I was just like yeah you know vibe <laughs> see that's the other thing that's the other thing that um the ori just would blank yeah <laughs> just died um oh there we go <gasps> it's almost reached a thousand views <gasps> what has that's nuts that's nuts slasher Oh, What's almost one. reached a thousand views? Our first ever Ace Attorney video. video oh my video. god. Wow. Yeah. That's so crazy. I remember when it hit like That's 500 insane. and I was like, wow. Also, okay, anytime that someone like Cassidy, okay. But it was, it was Cassidy and, uh, and, and, uh, and Hanzo. They shipped. That was like one of my first, uh, sort of deep dives into the, um, What's the flower disease? Hanahaki disease? Hanahaki. That was like, I read like a fic of, of Cassidy and Hanzo, and it was all about Hanahaki disease, where they both had it, but they wouldn't tell each other, you know, classic vibe. Oh. And it was it was really good, but I played Overwatch like once at demo stage when it was like in demo time, but obviously bad at game, so not my, not my vibe. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the important thing is you tried. <laughs> they changed his name because I... So this I just learned from Dylan recently. They changed his name because he was named after somebody that worked for, like, he was a big name uh, in, like, the company, I guess, or whatever. Turned out mm -hmm. he was doing some real, uh, you know, PDF file things and unsavory stuff. Yeah. And so they Not were like, a good well, guy. we don't want to um, honor him anymore rightfully so which is sad because like mccree's a good name you know for like a thing but like i understand why you don't want to associate uh so that is my yeah yeah exactly yeah that was <laughs> so yeah a bad situation. as sadly a lot yeah i never realized he was named after a person though I honestly never realized Oof, it indeed. at first, and then they said it, and I was like, oh, okay. He's voiced yeah. by Matt Mercer, though, so, you know. Ugh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh. uh. <laughs> oh, I thought about it. So somebody asked last week who I would want to voice characters. It was me. In, um... <laughs> I was just oh, curious. it was you. Okay, yeah. I felt like it was. But, um, okay, so yeah, Ori exactly, asked me Nicole. what characters I would have... What characters? What voice actors I would have voice our characters in Outcast? Yeah, and in a I perfect world. I cannot word. believe I neglected Jeremy Jordan. Jeremy Jordan yeah. has to be in there somewhere. Uh, I don't know where, but he has to. Oh. And he also needs a song. Honestly, I think he'd be a good Averett. Oh. I could very well see him as Averett. I kind of like it as Averett. Oh, yeah. That would be the dream, man. Oh, I gotta say, his performance as Varian... We already he, loved him as Varian. He, and then he can pull the bad, just, bad guy, good oh. guy shit. And then as Lucifer, that singing voice... Oh, I've listened to that song too many times. Slasher, Both you're of them. a D&D &D fiend and you don't know who Matt Mercer is? Matt Mercer <gasps> is the DM of Critical Role, the original, basically, D&D &D live play podcast. He is a legend. The man, the myth, the legend, Matt Mercer, who every and DM is voice unrightfully work. compared to because he's just too freaking epic. <laughs> Up there with the greats, such as... Uh, why can't I remember the Dimension 20 guy? His name. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm blanking. I never got around to Dimension 20. I never watched it, but... It was sad. You watched Has Been Hotel, uh, Slasher? Yeah, Lucifer. Oh, it's so good. Ugh. I love Has Been Hotel. So, so good. That show has changed my brain chemistry. <laughs> what? How? 
because it's good. Oh yeah, it is good. This this is what happened with Trigun too. Mm, it changed my true. brain chemistry. <laughs> that is true. It was amazing. It was good. The songs slap. The songs do slap. Also, the cosplays are on point. Uh, you like, should watch it, Slasher. Mm. It's it's it, 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 it's it's sadly. Oh, you know, not all that it could be because they were literally given eight freaking episodes instead of at least uh, ten. Yeah. It would have been, you the know, the uh, plot is very rushed. But the like, vibe, we go from zero the vibe to is 100. good. And honestly, okay, the good outweighs the bad. The, but it more than makes up the for it. Beautiful. In my opinion. I am so happy to get a, a show back in the world that puts as much music in it as it does, right? Yes. Like, you ha definitely have ones that, like, they break out into I mean, songs sometimes. we had Fiona and Cake, but they weren't singing. It was not... It was background we... tracks. No, it was like, they were pretty tracks. songs. They were good songs, but no, none of the characters were singing. But even with, like, you know, even with, with like, shows that you do think of singing shows, like Adventure Time or something, like, they didn't sing every episode, and they didn't, you know, whatever. I think the mm. closest you have is, like, Phineas and Ferb saying every episode, right? Yeah. I think oh, that's, they're the classic that's example. basically the big one. Um, and uh, Dimension 20 is the other one, Slasher. The Matt Mercer one is um, Critical Role. Both of them are good. Uh Vox Machina is also an amazing show. That's critical. If you hadn't seen that one. That's critical. Oh, the the show itself, Vox Machina, is based on the very first campaign that Critical Role, DM'd by Matt Mercer, did, yes. which is very good. And uh, I do believe Matt Mercer has a role in that oh, show. Oh yeah, he's um he's got he's he's definitely at least he's definitely a few of them, but he's um most notably um Lord Blackwell, Lord Black whatever his name is. Yeah. Percy's arch enemy. Yeah, yeah, you got it. It's a C M A C H I N A. They're both on Amazon Prime. And they're both very good. Um Yeah, and then he also was definitely the gunpowder sell <laughs> seller. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because that was like an iconic role that he did. <laughs> <laughs> he's a bunch of the NPCs because like you know that's what he all DM. was but um he's definitely none of the women NPCs in the in the actual one because you know if you can yes be a woman <laughs> uh Chilchuk's voice actor is so cool Chilchuk's voice actor is um non-binary Chilchuk's voice actor is like, perfect. killing it oh, so good. like they sound so good as Chilchuk like, oh, yeah, the dungeon they got the emotion down, voice they got the frustration down. Top oh, tier. Oh, it's so good. Do it, Slasher. It's great. But, oh, back on the singing thing. So, yeah. Yes. Hasbro Hotel has, I'm pretty sure, every episode two songs. They and do. And it's just like... It's oh. wonderful. And it doesn't feel forced it doesn't feel no. like there's not enough time and they're only well, 30 minute episodes because we established this this is why i think it works charlie is a very musical character and she expresses herself in song so from the get-go from the pilot we know that this is a world where it's a musical people sing to express well, that's emotion the other thing. it's not so it, uh it plays into it so well well that's what's that's what's neat about it is that it's it's not like um what's the word i'm trying to go for it's not like it's an ethereal other thing you know sometimes when you watch musicals and you know sometimes and people like quote unquote criticize about musicals it's like why would everyone just break out into song and like I know the dance music or whatever it's a terrible argument but the point is is that i can definitely understand in certain circumstances like you know finish and ferb does it where sometimes they're actually like on stage singing to people, you know? So it's like, this is yeah. a place where you sing. But other times they're just like, whistle while you work kind of thing, right? They're like doing the whole thing. Or it, it's shown that like Doofenshmirtz is just a weird guy that literally pays for like background singers and background dancers to have a good time. And you know what? Vibe. But Vibe. I can definitely see in like certain scenarios and certain shows that have tried to do it that it's kind of like... Um, gimmicky. Gimmicky. Or, or it is very much as like sudden. Right, like this doesn't fit 
the vibe or this doesn't like why why is everybody else singing you know like it's very weird um in has been hotel they really really do very easily set it up in a way that it's like no 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 this is actually happening right like this is actually what is going on at this yeah. moment is the characters are singing right no, and it, it comes full it circle at the sense. end which is really good that's the other one molly mcgee okay so so oh, molly mcgee, molly mcgee also... season one they do a lot of like it's another singer and they do like montage songs which are very fun because they're comedic right and it's really fun but it's a way to put in like a a song without making it that like it forces the characters to sing but I do know that later on they pick it up and they're like, no, 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 we want the characters to sing. And they are singing <laughs> together, but it does fit the vibe because exactly like Charlie, Molly's whole thing is being like upbeat and fun and like, you know, dancing around and doing stuff. So she's trying to get everybody to like, you know, work together and do whatever. So it works. It's so cute. It's so good. And I think that's the balance you have to find is making it where it's like, it's a suspension of disbelief, right? You know, oh, making yeah. it not jarring <laughs> to have like um, characters, characters break out into first song. Into song. Yeah, no, totally. And, uh, and the way they bring it, I'm not, you know, no spoilers. The way they bring it full circle at the end, uh, so oh, good. I cried at the end. <laughs> like, uh, see, seeing what happened to a certain character at the end not the initial thing the very final thing ah. that got me because i was like oh like i'd be honest the thing that happened to him first that did not get me was i was sudden. just kind of like oh that happened Pacing. and it's being treated like a joke okay cool oh, oh now it's a serious thing okay uh pick a tone please <laughs> yeah yeah that, that's the other thing but it i think is, they salvaged it it definitely um suffers from sadly only having eight episodes it really feels like the crew is scared <laughs> they're session. going to get canceled by the network so they're trying to get as much story as possible which out I, there I, I certainly which appreciate i don't blame them for being yeah. afraid of that given the track record of certain exactly. streaming services and coffee that, like, Bio uh, cough. yeah thankfully i think amazon prime has been the best overall They've been okay about, about them that. Canceling a lot of stuff. I don't know if you have. HBO was really bad. Netflix, Netflix is really bad. I'm like concerned. That's why I'm like everybody watch Dungeon Mishi, please. Please allow me to have Dungeon Mishi for the Especially whole thing. Especially because it's a Netflix please. specific please. one. Yeah. Like we're counting on Netflix for this one. That's the problem. Yeah, I'm just like I'm just like please. I'm buying the Dungeon Meshi merch every time I hear like a big like YouTuber or like streamer or something or like artists that are like big artists that I know that are like oh we like Dungeon Meshi we're drawing and oh my god you know what gets me so hard is when artists that I have been following for years draw Dungeon Meshi stuff and they draw Dungeon Meshi stuff that you can't know from just watching the anime you have to have watched the manga for like characters and scenes and i'm just it's like, like they have the insider like, knowledge like you read the manga <laughs> oh. oh so good i can't i'm like oh i gotta be honest i'm super proud of this ferrix there not gonna lie lovely yeah, so so i'm i'm a little i'm all emotional about the dungeon mystery thing i need it <laughs> It's okay. It'll work out. People are loving it. I'm seeing pins being made for it. I'm seeing yes. merch. We're all good. Yes. Literally, I don't think I've been this obsessed with any property <laughs> in a long time. I think the last thing I saw you really obsessed with was Kiribaku from My Hero. That one was like, really you, good. You had a lot of merch lot. related to that. I definitely also did clams. a lot of art there. Clance, Clance is like a long running one, right? That'll that'll never die as like a but thing. But like, those were also pairings. Ones. Those weren't like fandoms as a whole. I will say, Voltron was a very big fandom of mine. I drew all the characters, uh, you know, in in my sketchbooks. I have like the birthdays of the characters. <laughs> they got like birthday art from me, you know, like like that was definitely like a fandom I was really really deep in I never even got that deep into my hero as that much it was definitely Voltron and I don't think I've been that like nuts specific about you know something 
since then. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely like, ooh. It's like, huh, it's nice to be passionate about something. Yeah. Well, it's also, I also will say, and I think this lent itself as well with Voltron, is that it's a long-standing enjoyment, right? Mm. Voltron had however many seasons, but it's a long period of time, eighth, right? They have I a, think. I, I forget the eighth one, so seven. <laughs> seven we, we don't seasons. acknowledge the eighth one. I never watched it. I never will at this point. It's just done. I, I've accepted it, and we've moved on. Uh, we're just fangirling, basically, Mason, and talking about, like, uh, and uh, I think so far my favorite ones are definitely the ones, it, it allows you to enjoy them for a long period of time, right? Clance, uh, is definitely, and Voltron in general, it came out for so long, you know, so many years and everything. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> Only very, very specific anime characters, Nicole, though. But honestly, I looked up- Okay, one, I know what day is Miles Edgeworth Day, so that's that's probably gonna, gonna have something. And, um, I need to look up Le if Leos has an official birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure he does. Not all of them do. I couldn't find something on, like, Phoenix's birthday. It was always like really not nothing yeah. for and, our and to my understanding attorney? and Edgeworth has a has an Edgeworth day not an ed, not like necessarily a birthday it's one of those like how Hatsune Miku has like was Miku day and like Mario has like Mario day and they're like in March because that's how like the name schemes work right I gotcha but uh yeah like how October 3rd is Full Metal Alchemist Day. Yeah, exactly. Where they where they have like um the whole thing. <laughs> Hold on, now I have to look at this. Uh, what the hell did you find? I I went I went on a uh, I just I just looked up Leo's Dungeon Meshi birthday and eventually there's a Reddit and it was like R slash autism Leo's town and from Dungeon Meshi is my favorite probably autistic character. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, oh, vibe okay. though. Gotta be honest, Leo's is very autistic. Oh yeah, no, vibe and, vibe though. Like straight up. He he is up there with Keith, he's up there with Finn, yeah. like and it's great. Oh, the vibe though. But it's, it's just wonderful. funny how we got like, there. Please to this. more. I'm not seeing anything specific about Dungeon Meshi. Mechi. Okay, Oscar, if you're okay. gonna make that deal, you gotta show the figure. She has to know what she's Hold competing on. for. I just Damn, I forgot how nicely I colored those. So good. Sometimes you just need a reminder of the past work you did to fuel what you're currently working on. Oh yeah, uh, like one hundred fucking cent. Man. This entry is kicking my ass. My hands hurt. I want to quit. But seeing Ori add details to what I've already colored gives me fuel again. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's a good shit. It's a good shit. Okay. Yeah. Better let her choose. I would fight one boss in Elden Ring to get whatever Leo's equivalent of that Marcel figure is because I need it really bad. I'm like Marcel is getting all the love. That Marcel has this epic like scene sitting in a little scene with all of the references figure and where is my boy? <laughs> I just want my boy. He'll come. He'll have his time. I hope so. The more figures you buy, the more poses they'll put him in. <laughs> literally, though, literally half of my, like, thought process is, like, or we, or we get the figure, because this merch merch sales make things, make are the, are the, are the big draw for companies. <laughs> Mer the merch merch sale make company happy. Make me yeah. happy by making thing I like. Yes. <laughs> Lizard brain. <laughs> Lizard brain, indeed. think I want to do but yeah I, I don't think I drew birthday art for anybody 
since Voltron? I don't think you've done it for the Ladybug fandom, though. I know you were a part of that for a while. I was a part of that for a while. I never, I, I was, I don't consider myself ever as into that as I was into Voltron because, well, Voltron, I drew literally every character at least once. Karan, sadly, the least. But, like, you know, every main character, not the side characters necessarily. But, you know, at least once. And then definitely the main five a significant amount of time. Um, that it was like, it was like, yeah, okay, these are birthdays. I drew only Marinette and Adrian slash Ladyfucking Cat Noir. I didn't draw literally anybody else from the Ladyfuck universe. So, I'm sorry, um, only main characters matter here. Yeah, I, I'm. I am definitely a basic, a basic person, and I, I, I'm here for the main characters 99% of the time. There's very few side characters that are like, yes, this is, this is the one that I like the most. <laughs> um, Moriarty the Patriot. <laughs> it's Moriarty, and uh, of course, like in Jujutsu Kaisen, the side characters are just really good too. So you know, they get a lot going on. Um, I don't. Very hard to. My be. hero is like, is Izuko the main character? Is Bakugo not a main character? You know, like I don't. He's kind of a main character. You know, I don't know where the line is drawn there. Hello, pastry puff. French people are scary. Hey, Why are French Ori, people quick scary? question. Yeah. When you're coloring, what stabilization do you have on your pen? The color pen I have, twenty two. 22. Okay, maybe that's why this feels wonky. Yeah, that was it. Okay. Laggy. I have been fighting my pen for the last two panels because I accidentally changed the stabilization instead of the brush size. Uh, now, you know, once I set the stabilization, I don't mess with it. So yeah. because I don't mess with it, I don't know what number I have it set to. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't remember what it was, but I was like, I'm pretty sure it's the same one Ori used because yes. she trained me. So I probably use what she uses. Yes, that is then that is correct. Logic. We have some. Ooh, that's tough, Nicole. Okay, Nicole says, I was having a chat with my friend who's also into AA and uh, found out that Nicole's always into the defense attorneys while the friend is always into the prosecutors. What about us? I Oof. think that overall, based on, again, I only know, like... I mean, we've only experienced the... We've only experienced Phoenix. Defense I attorneys, and we've only experienced two of them. I can't imagine... Yeah, you're right, Mia. I can't imagine not liking Apollo, if I'm being completely honest. I feel like Apollo's gonna be a vibe. I don't know very much about him, but, like, I would be surprised if I wasn't, like, ha vibing with Apollo like I vibe with Phoenix. Um, <sighs> this is really difficult. Because, well, like, Francisca and Godot are fun. I don't like them nearly in the same way that I'm like, yes, Phoenix, yes, Edgeworth. And now, you know, Edgeworth That's was a defense attorney once. Like, so yes, like, mm -hmm. I like you as antagonists that I have to beat. Yeah, not you're so cool, much. You're interesting, but I'm characters not characters like, I want to keep vibe, around. Right? I'm vibe Edgeworth. Well, I'm not vibe. Dylan's vibe Edgeworth, but thus I'm vibe Edgeworth. You know what I'm saying? And I am hella by, vibe by Phoenix. Extension. The amount of like times that I am just phoenix is nuts <laughs> it, it's too many to count is, is like point. wow when did ori become phoenix right ori was always phoenix right so i would have to probably say my vote would be defense attorneys i would say dylan 100 percent leans prosecutorial vibes just in general of all of them like yeah uh, you know he's definitely very very edgeworth with if he's definitely a lot of edgeworth but also a lot of gumshoe and Gumshoe's basically on the side of the prosecutors, you know, so like he's, he's that side of the bench kind of person. I'm very excited for Dylan to play Gavin. I don't remember his first name. I know his last name is Gavin. The main prosecutor in Apollo. The blonde. I think he's a guitar player. I'm very excited for that. Um, that was very fun. And, and Nicole, 
it's it's really funny that you 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 put it that way you define it that way that is very dylan and myself except dylan also adds the gumshoe goof to it purposefully mm. though, most of the time some of the time he's got he's got the gumshoe goof but like in the moment right like in in levels of like stress or whatever he is definitely the like logical analytical you know sort of like think it out be calm you know ask the questions and whatever and i definitely like the emotional you know passionate like uh like let's go so i definitely like vibe with phoenix really hard there and i just i will never get over the amount of times that i have literally said phoenix's line before he said it like word for word and there's no <laughs> way i could have predicted it you know what i'm saying like it's too many there's too many nickels it's really funny because i know i would probably that is true, pick puff. defense attorney but i feel like in this case I have to pick the prosecutors because we've just had more of them so we have more variety to choose from like i really love how each prosecutor we faced has been different have been their own distinct character like nothing feels like it's being repeated nothing feels like oh they're recycling this plot point from this character Damn, oh they puff. took this element from this character and just did like a watered down version of this like no each prosecutor feels very unique very individualized and i really like that about them i feel like eventually my answer will change to defense attorney as we get to play as more defense attorneys it's just it, it's two against edgeworth karma female von karma godot winston Pay yeah it's five against two i gotta pick the prosecutors just because there has oh, been we, okay variety. okay hold on mm -hmm. we also have a uh, grossberg we never played as him. No, we never we never played as those other prosecutors besides Edgeworth. <laughs> also, he's more of an assistant. I'm just saying. I don't I don't count him as a defense attorney. <laughs> he kept running away from his responsibilities. He did, he, no, he was he was bad. He was bad. I like again, like I'm saying, I am a main character like whore <laughs> because like who's your favorite ace attorney? It's Phoenix and Edgeworth. Like there's no question. You know, oh, yeah. it's it's Hands Lance and you know, like there's no question, right? Like that's very just like we're here, <laughs> or he shows up for the main characters. Yeah, I yeah, do exactly. gravitate Peace toward part. my side characters a little bit. Like I do like me my side characters. I think it's so funny. Let's see, what's the next easiest panel to do that I could bang out super quick? Because, I'm yeah. like picking and choosing. Ah, oh, I mean that's, that's the vibe. That's okay, let's do this one. I'm, bake I'm making future Ori's life easier by making current Ori's life annoying, so. Future Ori will appreciate that. That's oh, what yes. you gotta remember. Exactly. Future Ori will look at that and say, <laughs> oh, thank you, Pastor. Oh, Ori. I'm sorry. I'm lame, Enthus. <laughs> Wait, why are you lame? <laughs> Enthus says, if I don't fall in love with a niche character from one episode, I don't want it. <laughs> Who's your who's your niche outcast character? There's only one niche outcast character in this. That is true. <laughs> it's oh. no no hashtag it's Abrit because we've never really seen him. Well, oh, that's not the character I was thinking. No, of. I was thinking of Olus as the niche, Same. the single niche character. But we we you and I Mars experience Abrit more overall. Oh yeah, we we get to interact with him more. We get to yeah. make him do stuff more. Ooh. Mm. I can't believe that there is so page at Mars. I don't know if you saw, but Page Fub mentioned that I think Apollo Justice the kid takes place in 2024. Yes, I did. And the see math that. means that we might actually literally play that game day, month, year. <laughs> That's kind of wild. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't ready for that. Uh, I'm gonna go with. I don't think so, Pastry Puff. Uh, there is a small chance that I've seen them in passing, but I don't think I could describe to them who you are. The only... Oh, it's 2025? Oh, no. Then never mind. Uh. Oh, no, 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 no. Correct. I'm sorry. Correct. This year is 2024. I meant what I said, and I 
but not what I said. And I said what I meant. And Oreo's face was 100%. And it didn't come across 100%. <laughs> I, that's what I meant, 2025. This is 2024. We're not playing those games till next year, just, just mathematically. Unless we somehow breathe through the Investigations games, which I doubt. I very much doubt it, considering the amount of ad-libbing going on right now, you just know that's going to increase. Oh my god. We, okay, I think that we have increased the amount of episodes per game every single time. Now I have to check. <laughs> we, we've gotten comfortable. We've gotten that's comfortable also true, ad But I also think, I also just, I can't imagine that they're just not a little also longer, you know? Like, I feel like they also do have to be to a point where they are just Well, they are later games longer. in the series, too. They gotta up the ante. Okay. Why do I not... Okay. First game had 16 streams. Second Damn. game had 19 streams. We are going into stream 23 <laughs> of third game. <laughs> Holy cow. We do ad live a lot more. I, I feel like, yeah, we definitely we definitely have gotten more comfortable. There oh, is yeah. no question there. Uh, you know, and I think I think also after a certain point when you know the games a little more too, right? Like oh, yeah. knowing more about them and, you know, just understanding the vibe a lot more. Knowing the characters also say? allows us to ad lib. Well which exactly. Is fun. Exactly finally getting to a point where I can be Phoenix. It just feels like, you know, we're in it. And also, like, you can't ad-lib about hating Lada before you know Lada, you know? You can't oh, ad-lib yeah. about... Whatever. You can't You can't make a 20 sec second uh, diss track without knowing the yeah, character. Exactly. That is also part of it, Enthuse. How much do I know about AA4 in general? I know that it is Apollo Justice. I know there is Gavin, the prosecutor. I believe he has a brother, and I know that Athena's not in this one, just Trucy is. And I think we both know that uh, Trucy is Phoenix's adopted daughter. That's that's all I got. I also know that uh, one <laughs> thing I know that I'm not sure Ori does is that Phoenix has a dad outfit. Yes, I have seen the, the sure beanie he outfit, needs to right? Be brought back to the courtroom for whatever yeah, reason. The like he's, he stopped being a prosecutor. Yeah, uh, a, defense a defense attorney. attorney. I don't know why though. Yeah, yeah. But the beanie, the beanie outfit. Yeah, yeah. The beanie outfit is awesome. The I beanie love it. outfit. I know literally nothing about the plot, about the get, you know, about the 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 mysteries. You know, it's literally solely like character art <laughs> the the one thing i do know is that someone will die that i didn't and will know. have to prove the person oh innocent. well yeah 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 that is true <laughs> i was trying to be yeah, clever, dies. Go i him. got it i got it at the end of thank life. you jesus ah uh, sorry nicole <laughs> we will still be really warning? hype about it uh, those I don't count as the same kind of spoilers. Uh, so as Mars and I have said before, we really, we react honestly pretty much the same to 99% of spoilers. The only spoilers that I care about not being spoiled about is like the actual like twists and stuff like that. Uh, like as a mystery, because I am the one solving the mystery, right? Like we are solving the mystery. It's not yeah. as much a how we get there now. It is a bit of like, I do want to be able to like, it have the reveal be a reveal because of the genre we're in yeah exactly but like i'm still gonna be hyped when we have like a good time with trucy you know like i knew that the shipping on edgeworth and phoenix you know was was there but like oh yeah we're still here that was always you know? the plus of the series uh yeah we're still <laughs> like, here for it like i'm still gonna be so hyped lawyers, about please. the dad daughter vibes that phoenix and trucy are gonna give off okay because it's even more found family yeah which is like obviously our like, shit man vibe i recently started following uh an artist on ace attorney that j literally just has a, a an au uh that is well it is right and trucy it's obviously also dad edgeworth you know they're dating 
And then Dead. they also have like a like a little boy child that's like Phoenix Edgeworth combined, and it's beautiful, and they're just adorable, and they're just a happy little family, and I'm just having a good time being dads. Send. It's so good. Send it. I did send you something. I think you literally sent me something from the artist, and then I found oh, did the I? artist. Oh, yeah, is I'm it the same artist? Sure. Okay, no, maybe maybe back. Mars is just having a moment here. <laughs> I'm like 99% sure that you sent me something. And then that's... Because that's honestly how I come across so much. <laughs> there, there's stuff. always a chance. I am constantly sending Ori shit, guys. Like, that, that's so what we much. do. No, maybe, maybe it wasn't. I maybe said maybe so it came crap. across uh, organically, which is rare, but possible. You know, it can guess... happen. Okay, now I have to check if I saved it or just liked it. Because that's a true question. Oh, dungeon machine. Oh, I found it. <laughs> oh, dungeon machine. I think I found it. My love. Yes, I did found it. Okay. Yes, dungeon machine, my love. Oh, heck. That's not what I wanted to do. Your love for it every time you see it. This is law. Oh goodness. Damn. Ferrix be buff in this panel. Ferrix is, is, is pretty buff. Yeah, but it's like, now I'm realizing how buff. <laughs> you saw how buff in the art I sent you early. Oh, yeah, no, I did. I did. I did. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> there you are. Thank you. Beautiful. I'm excited for Trucy. That's going to be Mars's outfit. Oh, I can't wait. I'm excited to get a new outfit, guys. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I'm getting a new outfit for investigations, but I'm excited to get a new outfit, guys. I've had no Ace Attorney outfits. I think... Have I? No. Because I've had Maya, Emma, and Mia. Mia. Yeah, that's it. That's your three. Yeah, you, three. And, you and Dylan are tied. <laughs> Who am I Where going to be it? in investigations, no, though? Next Phoenix That's the question. No, I get to be Apollo. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're the girl in investigations, and I'm the Interpol guy. Oh, very fun. I'm excited. I don't know how I'm going to do his voice yet, yes, though. Yes, give Ori a beanie. <laughs> Homeless Phoenix outfit. <laughs> Homeless Phoenix outfit. Um, Any theories on where Bridge to the Turnabout is going? <laughs> I still don't know how I feel about the whole I'm... Iris Dahlia Pearl thing. It's, no, they're cool. I mean, technically, I might get one in the in the in the redirect art. Speaking of, the Lost Turnabout redirect has been edited. Now I just have to make the cover, and it gets to uh. come out. I mean, you know, obviously after uh, whatever when I'm on reunion Amazing. and Turnabout finishes, but the Lost Turnabout redirect is complete. Besides cover art. So there is a chance that Ori will be in a Gene Armstrong outfit in the cover <laughs> art of the recipe for Turnabout Redirect. That Amazing. Is, uh, certainly a possibility. <laughs> but. Yeah, I don't really have any theories so far for Bridge to Turnabout. I, somebody was channeled. Dahlia, Iris, and Pearl are all related and connected to Morgan. Deuce. Morgan has a stick up her ass and is still trying to dismantle the phase from beyond the grave or beyond the, the jail bars, I guess. <laughs> like, I don't know. Th this case got really friggin' hoopty loopty. And I'm still debating how I feel about, like, okay, I can understand Morgan having multiple children. I just, I really also want to understand the dynamics. Cause like, we're kind of left to assume like these 
children had no idea the other existed. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I, so so thinking about it, it was a, a lot little of bit. Information to drop all at once. Thinking about it a little bit, I can definitely be like, wow. Dahlia is definitely Morgan's daughter, man. I mean, like... I mean, they're both vengeful as heck. Yeah, they're and both ruthless, so really, really the terrible. Apple does not fall My far from the tree. biggest thing is, like, why is... So, so, at this point, I'm pretty confident that Dahlia's the killer. Okay? She's around doing shit. Hopefully for the last time. Hopefully we get her mm. this time. I will be very, very, very pissed off if we do not get her this time after Death the build-up for Let's it. Let's go. Okay, yeah. She needs to get put the fuck away. Um, I'm uncertain of how I feel about Iris at this very moment because I'm feeling like she's complicit. Not in necessarily a way that she wanted to, but I do know that duress is kind of like shaky, not shaky, but like you need a lot to get to like a point of duress. And I don't feel it like that was feels put like there was a little her. coercion going yeah. on. And I feel like legally or not liable for her. If she knew what was going on and didn't do anything, I'm pretty upset about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I understand wanting to protect your sister, but after your sister has literally killed three fucking people, poisoned another one, almost killing him too. You know, like, we're done. You know, Maybe that's that's not someone to protect so much, anymore. You know? So if she did Maybe indeed she's a bad person. Ever know about that? this, which I'm 99% sure she knew about it, uh, whether before or after, kind of pissed about how she's doing it, uh, I'm not really a fan. Uh, lastly, I'm like, why is Dahlia doing this, right? If she is killing Misty Fay specifically to, like, try and inherit the freaking, I was gonna say throne, like, master status, that counts. like, one, what the fuck, and two... Eh? You show you show no like channeling shit before, you know. Like you're like, uh, you're su you're mm. supposedly weaker. Pearl's like the prodigy, right? So like you can't really be the master. Why are you doing this? And I'm a little sus about that. Yeah, those are my like, thoughts. What's the motivation? Yeah, those are those are my thoughts. I'm sure thoughts. we'll get an answer. I don't yeah. doubt that we're getting an answer. But I'm also very confused. I will say at this point... I believe so, yeah, and dudes. Technically, yes. Or if Maya went to jail. Good night, Mason. Night, Mason. To my understanding, yes. That is, that is what this is saying. But that's why I'm a little, like, about the whole thing. But that's also one of those things where it's like, we know Morgan had Pearl because the other daughters, they, they either weren't around because Iris was dropped off at the temple when she was really young. And then Dahlia went somewhere else where yet another stepsister was involved, Valerie. Mm -hmm. So that became a whole thing. And then, she killed her. <laughs> yeah, she, she killed her. But... Pearl's the one that the quote unquote throne would have been handed to, not Dahlia. So Well that's that's what we had again, established what before, but is the motive. See, and like Dahlia would not become the new master. Just because Maya is dead doesn't mean the power passes to her. Like to my understanding, Maya also wasn't gonna be you have dead. to have that power. That was, you have to yeah. be born with the aptitude. My for understanding it. is that you get kind of rich <laughs> because of it. But then obviously the Misty Fae like disgrace thing. But the Misty Fae incident that. disgraced everything, then, so now there's, like, no... But I almost want to say no value to being a channeler, because you can't said publicly do it anymore. Phoenix's efforts in the court system have sort of brought them back into, like, good standing, especially mm. his, like, DL6 case-related solving things. So that kind of, like... Is like, oh, they're coming back up in the world? I guess you can make the argument that following DL6, like, it made the papers and everything. Morgan might have seen it and then was like, oh, okay, I gotta get Pearl in here as quick as possible. Yeah, 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 Because there's yeah. money to be made. I could believe that. I could definitely yeah. believe that. I'm very glad they 
won't kill off Pearl in the end. I'm very <laughs> thankful for that. I think I literally would have bawled my eyes out. I feel like there's a certain point. You know, obviously, all of the other characters that have died, you either don't know at all or aren't really attached to by the time they die. Right. Yeah. So uh, there's not really a Except Emma problem. when she gets the death sentence. Well, but but she never dies and then we have to, like, avenge her. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm talking, like, we meet Dr. Grey, but we didn't like him. So, like, when he died, we're like, oh, uh, okay. Like, oh, that's sad. Sure. Anyway. <laughs> Great. Yeah. But the fact that we had, like literally a whole game two whole games at this point basically before this one where we have like interacted with pearl we have like had a rapport with pearl we have like known pearl if they killed her i think i literally would have bawled <laughs> that would be illegal like they cannot yeah. do that it's just like if they killed She's gum shoe, you know kid. it's like like if they killed anyone that you like get to a point where it's like they're not evil and you have a rapport with them. But right? it's like, I am attached to this character now. Yeah. Like, you cannot take them from me. Like, I'd How also dare. be pretty shocked if, like, say, Francisca von Karma or Godot, like, died at this point. Because you, like, know them more, you know? Or even, mm. like, Grossbird. Like, maybe I wouldn't cry, but I would definitely be more I like... cry, like, but it would definitely uh, feel like, uh, oh, a mentor was wow. lost. Because we saw him be a mentor to Mia. We saw him quote-unquote help when Maya was in prison. <laughs> they did technically kill Edgeworth, but they didn't kill Edgeworth in a way where I was concerned about him being actually dead that much. I mean, we well, had sort of like our spiral we moment. Were. We, we had didn't a spiral know. moment of like, oh god, but uh, you know, we were, we were moderately certain. <sighs> right. I, I thought you were dead. Oh yeah? Well, I thought you were dead for a year. Exactly. How's it feel, bitch? I love that one. <laughs> Paula Piroff does so well with the vibes. Oh, they they understand the characters. They really do. They did Dungeon Vision Fan! <laughs> this is the shit I'm talking about, man! Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy it's doing so well. Oh, it is like... You People love it. I'm so but happy. What's also okay? Here's what's so great about Dungeon Meshi and Free Run, guys. So many people, at least the artists I follow, are like, "So, guys, I just realized I like fantasy. I just don't like isekais." I'm oh, like, yeah, yes. it's amazing how likable a scenario and setting can be when you remove the harems. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Pacing, and the yeah. wish fulfillment. <laughs> I'm like. And, you know, actually use the setting to tell an interesting story. Oh, yeah. No, Dungeon Meshies has two major strengths, and it is the character development of every single one of the characters. They're the, the character entire development story is and phenomenal. The world building. But the character interactions oh. are also so good. Like, you well, really you feel a camaraderie together. between these people. It is, it really does both right it's so good and well it's like the the overarching story while still good is definitely not the major highlight in my opinion it's still interesting and intriguing and the whole major story that like happens and occurs as we get through it and as the plot move on is great but the way that you get to see the characters interact and grow and learn about each other and themselves in this world that we learn about through them with them by them is just Oh my god, it's so well done. <laughs> it is a beautiful, beautiful time. I will admit, I've seen I a bunch did of read the manga, of... and it was very, very good. But I never got as attached to the characters when I read the manga. Now that I'm seeing them in action, I'm hearing the inflections, I'm hearing the extra little, like, uh, 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 like the extra sounds that make a character <laughs> a character, now I'm attached. Now I'm like, oh my god, I would die for these characters. Like, <laughs> they are good. They are amazing. I love them. Uh, Protect. I've seen a bunch of the videos, Pastry Puff. I've seen the... I thought you were dead for, like, a day, right? And I thought you were dead for a year, bitch. Screw off. Um, 
I've seen the one That's with Emma. A good one. Okay, one of my favorite ones is the one with Emma in 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 uh, Rise from the Ashes. They go into the room, and I was like, like in Phoenix, I think I have. I don't think it was a video. I think it was just a dub of a comic that she did. But it was like Phoenix, I think I have a a crush on you know on Mr. Edgeworth, and then Phoenix starts busting a gut laughing and he's like you look over at Edgeworth who's sitting very proper on his couch sipping tea and he's just like Emma look that's a gay man <laughs> uh, <it's not laughs> that one gets me real also real he's bad. mine back off um I I saw one where it was like Maya being like, I'm a lawyer. And Phoenix is like, you're not a lawyer. And she's like, I'm basically a lawyer. And he's like, you didn't go to law school. And she's like, neither did you. <laughs> that one's good too. Um, That's an amazing one. Of course, yeah, I've seen the short. There. That's like, uh, objection. Nah, -uh. That one's beautiful. I freaking love that uh, one. The vibe is just, I adore. I can't wait. Paul has been working on the pilot and the comic of the Breakfast Club or whatever it's called, and I'm just like, yes, please. Uh, I need it. I watched the short like promo trailer for. Yes, that. it was. It's so with the same good. voice actors that they use in the Ace Attorney ones, because they're just pals. It's great. They they do a really good job. It really, I gotta say, I gotta say, really, really hard. I really wish I could animate. Because <laughs> if I could animate, we'd do even harder with the dub and everything. And everything. Uh, I don't think I've seen the Godot one. I don't think I've seen the Godot one. I did, I, I like watched a few, and then we were playing the game, so I was like, okay, wait, I don't want to accidentally spoil it myself. <laughs> so I don't think I've seen the Godot one. <laughs> I'm also very good at, like, forgetting forcibly i guess purposefully forgetting kind of pushing it back and being like yes don't remember this until that's like, one way happens. to phrase that but it's not in like a trauma way you know it's like in like a in the like oh i saw that that's like almost nearly a spoiler right or it's like i was watching has been hotel and then of course the algorithm like knew i was watching has been hotel so it's trying to show me like has been hotel shorts and i would like see a clip and scroll on but you know you get like a little glimpse and i would be like mm. nope don't remember that or like just don't like move on and i can do that to a certain extent you know it's like block block it from the memory yeah just purge it or like forget the context right know the meme mm. but forget the context so when it happens you know it's just like you finally go back to the meme and be like Oh, <laughs> like oh yeah, oh yeah, that's where it goes. That was a thing. Exactly. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna look back at Mars's stuff because look at Ferrex. Is this the one you were saying was buff? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, Mars. I wanna. I wanna. If you're willing, I wanna take a guess on which set uh, of the second Valentine's Day set. Which one was your favorite? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Can you can totally guess? take a guess if you want. Was it Asters? Mm, no. Really? Oh, whose yeah, was it? Asters. It was Sinnets. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a vibe too, though. You just had such a visceral scary. reaction with Asters every time. <laughs> I mean... It was good, though. A Aster really is the uh, silent but sexy type. Yeah. <laughs> he yes. pulls it off very well. Beautiful. I also just realized I forgot to outline Ferrex's pupil. Oopsies. How could you? How could you? I tried. I tried. It's his signature piece. I know. I thought it's it looked hard weird and I was say. trying to figure out why. It's hard to say which was my favorite. I really like the Milana one, but like art wise, like I'm very happy with the like art of Asters. Like the like the coloring and everything. The I gotta say, well I like the Valentine's pose, Day. I like the pose with Sin it the most. It's good. But the lighting on Aster, I I don't know. 
some it's something about the paleness just, of yeah, it all just, it just really well. worked. His colors just did well with how with like the shading method I was using. If it I'm just being really honest. feels like he's in a room and this yeah. is happening. Yeah, like it's wild yeah, how you nailed good. that. I was very happy with that. Alrighty, let's see. I got one, two, three, four. What five, do you mean six, you have no seven, ideas? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14 panels left to go. Oh, jeez. Okay. That's about half the, half the thing. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost there. Let's see. His eyes are closed in this one. Which I'm one is this, this one? one? This is page eight. This is pretty far into the Ferex hangout. Oh, okay. Thank God. If you're only working on page eight, then I'm, I'm still ahead. We're good. <laughs> No, no, you you told me to stay on page eight. You didn't want me to. Progress. No, no, because well, I only just to catch up. finished page ten. So you're gonna do page nine next, which is good. Uh, I had a feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I only just finished page ten, man. Yeah, no, 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 no. You you thought this was going to happen during the weeks I was settling into my internship? Uh-uh, man. Oh, no, no. We're, we're good. I needed time to settle, and I was like, okay, now I, I can do... think about other things. Yeah. But now you'll finish that one, and then we're good because I'll finish this back. Because this is seven that I'm doing backgrounds on right now. I, I recognized it, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, that's the last one I colored. Yep. I thought you were one more ahead, so I, I just feel a little bit better. I was like, oh. I don't have those lines. I haven't downloaded them yet. No, you have nine. I only I just did nine? ten, yeah. Oh, nine's been done. My folder again. I might not have downloaded it. That Maybe. might be a bean. It should problem. be in there because. <laughs> It probably is. I just didn't download it yet. <laughs> like, please. I, I don't check these on the reg. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, please, Mars. I, I know I did nine. Don't, don't take this from me. <laughs> I'm not gaslighting you. I promise. <laughs> At least not purposefully. Oh, I'm so happy. The, the place I have to go for my job tomorrow is like six minutes away. <laughs> That's really nice. It's so nice. I still have to drive. Sadly, it's minutes. not my favorite foreman, but that would have just been an extra bonus. Ah. Uh, okay, I see what's going on here. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if I'm right, then I will be very happy. <laughs> Ugh. Can't believe how much in the Ferrex hangout we are. Ooh. I know. Ferrex had a really long hangout, but what can I say? He, he had just a lot had to say. So much to tell Hudson. <laughs> he had a lot so to say. So much. <laughs> Nothing but good things, I'm sure. <laughs> the little, like extra ad lib thing in the most recent update is how how do you think Hudson's doing at his job? <laughs> bad. 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 He's a doing bad. Is he doing bad? Such yeah. as life. He's trying. That is, he, he's certainly doing that, yes. Why does Honestly, this look if, so blue? If he had a little less of a temper, but <laughs> Ferex just pushes those buttons. Yeah, Ferex is definitely a button pusher. No, no oh, question yeah. there. And Ferex knows the buttons to push. <laughs> or at least he finds it's, them it's very basically, quickly. It's basically the mentality of this guy's a piece of shit and I'm going to find out how to rile him up. <laughs> okay. Well, that is not good. Let's not do that. we got to do it more like this. You know what I want to get so bad? I want to get one of those brownie donuts from Duncan. Like the, the limited Valentine Day brownie donuts. No, treat yourself tomorrow. I Valentine's should. Day or whatever. But I'm like, I'm in class. I think there's a Duncan near me though. 
There's gotta be. This where we are, where you are. There's there's gotta be one on campus. I can't imagine. It's not on campus. Really? No. Our yes. our overlords are uh, Starbucks. Starbucks, yeah. <laughs> that is true. Let's see. I have seen more Dunkin' Donuts, I think, than Starbucks where I am. Really? Yeah. There's like some of the roads I go on, like the like the major, you know, highways and stuff. Um, yeah. There's like this place, and it's like a gas station right off the major road, which is really cool. Like it's an exit just to the gas station, and like the gas station mm. right there, so you can like see it from the road, you know. And they have Dunkin' Donuts. Like I guess the it's just their that's their pairing. <laughs> see that that kind of makes sense to me though. Because Dunkin' Donuts does seem like a stop, grab, and go type of place. Well, yeah, where they're not Starbucks making is like fancy not shit. so much. Yeah. yeah, they ain't making the fancy stuff. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this, and then I think I'm gonna have to do a really quick break because otherwise my brain rot is not gonna let me sleep tonight if I don't doodle this. Oh no, not Ori's brain. Why are you not what I want? Okay. Yeah, those would be the backs of his ears, I'm pretty sure. Yes, they are backs of his ears. <laughs> Ooh! There we go. Yeah, you can see how my end of things is a glorified coloring book. <laughs> <laughs> That's how depth works. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Why did I do this? That's why. Perfect. Any other questions from chat? Or we could just vibe. We are vibing as I'm thriving. Nice. Oh, Bisco, I forgot how bitch your hair is. That's okay. <gasps> We're drawing Milano, so You're it's all right. Bisco. I'm drawing Milana. <laughs> Milano as Bisco. Yes, Milano as Bisco. Not a whole body one like I did by the thing. Favorite prosecutor, Edgeworth. Favorite case, oh, hands it is down. still Turnabout Goodbyes. I just, that one has stuck with me so much. Turnabout on the vibe Goodbyes right now. was really good because we've known Edgeworth for a while now. We saw, I'm going to say, his defensive side. And like here we finally got to see a more vulnerable side of him. And this was where his change began like this is where his character arc started so really intriguing i i also think it was just the right amount of reveals and information yeah it was the right amount of reveals like, it was done I think in a also, way that's also the benefit of being the first game like there were no preconceived notions or thoughts that need to be dismantled and rethought about like we knew mm -hmm. here's edgeworth we don't know too much about him we just know that he's phoenix's rival and now we can flesh him out a bit more whereas i feel like with the dahlia iris pearl situation it's like but wait 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 in the second game i thought this now you're telling well, me that's this my whole like, thing. it's still good but it's a lot to process my i really i really enjoyed the mystery on oh, Turnabout no, Goodbyes a lot, right? I felt like it was done in a way where it definitely was like, the pieces are falling into place. It also felt like right. everything connected to. Exactly. Like you exactly. had the, I you had the Yanni role. Yogi, you had the parrot to give the clues. Oh, and then the background with the pulling. dad and, like, and, and the bullet, like we talked about the vacation before and we kind of just wrote it off and then having it, it like it was all really it well all came together come together which i in really a way that was really like enjoyed. logical 
like, again, I don't mean to say you. it this way, but you could see this case like almost playing out in real life. Yeah, it, and, it and it just grounded. stuck. You know, I, I don't know what a, what specifically besides that, but it's just it has stuck in like a, I know this one, like I feel this one, this one yeah. is the thing, and um, so I really, it's really a good enjoyed one. it. It just had a beautiful combination of everything. What do we hope for future AA games um, to do? Hmm. <sighs> Knowing that we're going to have new defense attorneys like i definitely am curious to see what stories they're going to tell like if they'll delve into some backstories um i want what kind of defense attorney i want I a want similar see, vibe i'd love to see them have multiple flavors like the prosecutors yeah. are so unique each one is so different like we know phoenix is kind of like he starts out the young hopeful trying to prove himself and then he does like now he's and then he gets kind of jaded <laughs> then he gets a little jaded yeah we we see him go through a little bit of an arc um i'm hoping we see some variation amongst the uh defense attorneys like don't don't get me wrong young hopeful trying to prove themselves is always a good vibe but it would be really cool to have something different just to mix it up a bit i want Sort of, uh, my biggest thing is that I, I do really enjoy the mysteries. I want that to continue. I do like having characters sort of come back and learn more about them. I really liked getting to know Gumshoe a little more in this one. Oh, um, yeah, that was fantastic. Sort of having the moments like that. I'm very excited to have more of that and Edgeworth's POV still in investigations a lot. I really hope that the mysteries still continue to 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 hold up right so far there yeah. hasn't been a mystery that i've like absolutely disliked nor one that we have solved a hundred percent way too early right there's always getting like the pieces i may argue that the morgan fay i need miney one we solved a bit early we didn't put together everything but we didn't get the face swap we... bit until much later I don't and think we, we ever would have guessed the face swap bit. We did get- oh no, we did guess the face swap bit, but we obviously didn't <laughs> have- Yeah, man. I'm oh. literally editing parts of the videos where I'm chanting- where I'm chanting, Please be face swap, please be face swap, please be face swap, please be face swap! I want face swap, give me the face swap! <laughs> so yeah, no, we, we fucking- we did predict it. I, I like that balance, though. I like the idea of, um getting to i do feel that the two heavy-handed ones are obviously um reunion and turnabout and um turnabout sisters are heavy-handed on the mystery side you literally mm. see who's who basically did it um and they're much more sort of story vibe how did they do it kind of thing um but i don't i don't feel like there was ever like it was boring you know that, like i never yeah. felt like the mystery was no boring definitely because it was to still fun to being, play no. and there was still twists and turns along the way which really were yeah a hundred percent base of and that's why i think i liked turnabout goodbyes so much is that it really was like having that sort of turn the tables that Noah the prosecutor the whole time was actually the villain, right? Uh, yeah. He's not just an annoying prosecutor that you have to overcome, and in addition to catching the killer, he is the real killer, you know? Or really, well, there they, was two they killers. And... extra stakes onto it because, like, you're not just fighting to prove Edgeworth's innocence, now you're fighting to prove your childhood friend's innocence. Mm -hmm. Now you're trying to disprove, like, something horrible he thought about himself for years like the stakes are really upped in that one and i really like it yeah i don't know i may be biased you guys <laughs> <laughs> no i like i like that one too i like that idea about it and that's why that's why rise from the ashes is such a sticking point because it's just oh. so close it's just so close it could have been so good just fumbles at the finish line <laughs> it really fumbled at the finish line and i think that's why i have so much disdain for it is that the other one's just kind of consistently you know the same right uh but that one just is like oh this is really shaping it's up this is really going and then it just fumbles now this this is the funny thing because we know rise from the ashes came way after the first trilogy was created so 
I'm hoping that Rise from the Ashes is not an indication of the uh, trajectory of I'm going to say I'm going to say cases. I don't, I don't think, think that'll it. be it I have because hope. uh so many people love the second trilogy so much That's what yet I'm dislike hearing. Rise from the Ashes or like do you have to play it like should you play it sort of like eh, about it that yeah. I'm like I is don't this feel like viewing, that it's going to be a thing I feel like it'll be okay because I yeah I mean he needed negative. he still needs therapy pastry puff and that's the other thing I really like overall in the trilogy the character growth we have seen you know going from kind of haha Edruth cowering on the ground and making fun of his fear of earthquake to Phoenix being like no 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 this is like I I also have trauma now bud I understand let's uh. I hope you're Brid doing okay. Bridges are terrifying. Damn. I get it. I yeah. relate. I'm so sorry I ever made fun of you. Yeah. So those are those are definitely nice too. No, it's it's definitely not a static series. Like this this is not a Eggman is always evil, uh Bowser is always evil situation. Like these these are full on characters that actually grow. So I think the the biggest thing characters. I hope from the rest of the trilogy is just continuing to have characters that I can feel strongly about their character in yeah. one way or the other. I don't need, you know, I obviously hope that there are characters that I like like their character and you know, but I uh, you know, it's like saying I don't dislike Lada as like someone wrote her badly, right? Like it's not I'm annoyed well, they didn't that write they her did badly. Her. No, she exactly. Meant to be I don't the way she is. like Lada, the character, right? Yeah. I don't like Von Karma, the character. There's a difference between you're writing a character hate people hate and a character that is bad. Yeah, and so as long as they continue to have these characters that like, you can feel strongly me... about both ways, you can love and laugh with, and and you know root for or be guys... angry about. That's what I'm looking forward to. Writing a character for the audience to hate is actually really hard to do. Like, you gotta thread that needle. <laughs> and, and then Mars over here. Balance. Ooh, asshole Everett, let's go. Let's have a beautiful... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is very true. But there's, there's a science to it. It's... Oh, it's just funny. See, with, with Averett and the band AU, he is an asshole because that'll be the catalyst toward Hotsen finding out that there is someone more worthy of his affections. Like, he doesn't have to be with Averett. He doesn't have to take the abuse. He can be free. He can be his own person and not have to feel like he needs Averett in his life and ultimately realize like it's a toxic relationship for him like Averett is very much written to be hateable in that one yeah <laughs> but kind of like hateable with style like, it's one of those things like when you see a villain you almost like how well, it's evil like, they are yeah. or how they act without considering the consequences because ultimately I think, personally, because of course I've watched video essays on it, it kind of stems from like, why do we like asshole characters? Like, why do we like Bill Murray from Ghostbusters? Why do we like Seinfeld? Because these characters say and do, th oh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, that's another example. Like, these characters are horrible, terrible people. If you met them in real life, you would probably be horrified. But there's also some. They don't hold back anything like everything they do is either a hundred or nothing and it's just kind of that That's fascination with <laughs> wow they're not held back by societal convention like they say what they want they do what they want fuck the world and there's some intrigue to that Pastry Puff says that the one thing they notice is that the more realistic an annoying or hateable character is compared to real life horrible people, the more hateable they are. And it's oh, 100% yeah. because if you can relate to like, wow, I've met this person, right? Or I've interacted with a person doing this, it's like right there, <laughs> you know? 
I mean, you're basically touching upon something your viewer already knows and relates to. Exactly. They're going to see that and be like, oh, I recognize this behavior and that it's annoying or it's it's mean, like, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Well, it's, it's very much, I experienced it, right? And that's how you have to work Relatability. with... Relatability, that's yeah. the word I'm thinking of. And that's how you have to work with, with any, you know, sort of... Uh, characters and that's how like you get good fantasy is by making the characters still in this weird and wild world very relatable right oh yeah and that's what's Absolutely. so nice about because there has to be something for the audience to latch on to if you're asking them to explore this new world you have to give them some point of connection and that's most often through the characters themselves exactly But yeah. yeah. Finishing this barracks. Yes. I did five panels tonight. Nice. I don't think we'll get both of these. I'm just so happy you were overtaken by the urge to draw Milano as Bisco. <laughs> We mentioned it, and here we are. <laughs> oh, I need them to make, bringing it back around to our very first topic, I need them to make a pop-up parade, Milo and Bisco. <sighs> yes. Like, please, I will buy it, and I will love it, and I will display it. Give it to me. gotta get there It'd be so good i mean with season two coming out you know oh it's promising it is promising like gotta watch season two gotta let them know we love this show we yep. want to see more like please give it to us oh i'm making faces i'm sorry i'm not talking i'm making the faces i'm drawing <laughs> Trying to get it. Or is using herself as a reference again. Not a it's so funny. It's never like as a visual reference. Is that's like a like a like a feel. Does, does that make sense? Because I do find yeah, that I could see the that. expressions that I like and want to draw, you know, facial expressions mm -hmm. are obviously very exaggerated from something that um you know you would get on your actual face right you know oh, it's, yeah. it's over exaggerated so i find that it's better for me to have like the feeling of my face and mm -hmm. how it works than the actual sort of like image of my face it's interesting i can kind of relate to that as a writer because sometimes i'm doing a scene and i'm like okay how would i describe this facial expression especially if it's coming from like the character's point of view mm. like how is their face pulling what does it feel like what do, are the muscles tense or are they relaxed is it like a pull in the cheeks like where are you feeling that so sometimes i'll just be like grimacing oh, at yeah, my exactly. computer making the weirdest ass faces that is exactly get an idea so i could describe it a hundred percent And yeah, yeah. It it just it it's better to have it sort of doing with your own face. Like sometimes even you know, if I need like a full body reference, I'll like get on the floor and do what I need to do. But like I won't even take a picture. I'll just like feel it. If this yeah. makes any sense? I think it does. Oh, hello. Oh, it's Cinder. Hello. Sadly, this is the end, Hi, Cinder. Cinder. But welcome. Oh, no. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> How are you Thanks, guys Cinder. doing? <laughs> Always a pleasure seeing you. Always a pleasure, Cinder. How you been? We're just vibing. It's been a hot minute. I hope you're doing well. It has been a hot minute. Yeah, are you not sick anymore? Is Cinder not sick anymore? Oh my gosh, yeah. Good, good. You've st are you still feeling sick? better? Hopefully not. That's good to know, Pastry Puff. I'm glad. Oh, mm. still a little sick. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry, so sorry. Cinder. Pushing through it, I see. 
Hopefully that clears up soon. Indeed. Yeah, go to bed for a good rest. Yes. I mean, that's what rest we'll be doing up. soon. <laughs> okay, I have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve panels left to color. Beautiful. If I do six per day, this'll be done. Nice. Amazing. And I have to do all of mine still. Which is <laughs> <laughs> definitely uh, too many. The sooner I get started on nine, the better. Yeah. Now you're at a point where it's like, okay, you're, you're ahead enough. I'm you're behind enough. Time to, whatever time it to is. play catch up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Words. And all of that. Uh. Alright, we're just finishing Milo Bisco. Ooh. Gotta make sure Milano I save. Bisco. Yeah, the don't don't forget to serve. Comic. <sighs> yes, roll swap comic. So beautiful. Yes, it's a lovely. Oh, guys, I even shaded it. Aren't you proud of me? You have to do the words now. Are we making that another stream, or should I just do that? No, on my just off do the time? words. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just do the words. I don't think people want to see that. Saving is a good reminder, indeed. No, we just gotta see it at the end. All put together. Okay. That I can do. Uh, we'll switch we'll switch back to my Milano Bisco for a second. As I quickly finish up the sketch. Sadly, it's not to the same beautiful extent that I did Vash and Wolfwood. <laughs> but I literally did this in like less than 10 minutes. I need to see this. Oh my gosh, they look so good! <laughs> they got the cute little goggles. <laughs> Gotta have the goggles. I don't even know. Bisco, what's your shirt look like, please? God, I... There it is. Yeah, he's always like, got that cloak on. It's like torn up like this. And he's got some sort of like necklace on. I don't even know. Beautiful. Top tier. He a feral boy. <laughs> he is a feral boy. He's my feral boy. Uh, All right. I wonder if they're going to reuse the soundtrack from season one for season two, or if they're going to make even more music. Well, I mean, the opening's definitely going to be new, so I'm excited. Oh, the opening, definitely. I'm talking about the OST. I feel like they gotta make new music, man. <laughs> okay, there's my there's my little Bisco uh, Milano. Very fast, look how very quick. Beautiful he is. All right, guys. Uh, thank you all for hanging out. Sorry that the, <laughs> the stream raid didn't last very long. I appreciate you all coming. Oh, uh, you guys are all amazing. Thank I you. Have... Is there a channel we can raid over? Okay, we'll raid Hans. He's probably going. Oh, anymore. nice. All right, guys, go say hi to Hans for us. Uh, they're doing. Um, oh, they're going over some like uh, Hero Forge minis uh, and Ooh, a bunch nice. of people over there. All right, have oh, passing the raid on. Thanks everyone for hanging out, sharing the good fortune. Yep. Thank you thank so you much all for hanging out, and thank you to our channel members. We will uh, hopefully see you on Thursday for making a fox character for uh, Dylan. All right, yes. guys, have a great night. See you then. Well, see y'all Thursday. Bye bye. <laughs>